Okay, looks like it's all recording now. Welcome back, everybody. So I just got home, and I thought we could do some Yu-Gi-Oh for a bit. It's one of those days where it's just pretty ideal to do a short stream of Yu-Gi-Oh. And we're starting a new save run with um, playing with Hassleberry. I don't know what, what exactly what cards he has yet, so we're going to jump into like a random duel and just see what he does. And then we're going to open a bunch of packs and see what we can get from there. Yeah, let's go for it. Excellent. I've really been enjoying these Yu-Gi-Oh days lately. I'm glad I kind of worked this in like uh, more of my main schedule. I remember for the first game of this series, yeah, it's hit first. I got to a point where I just would take like uh, breaks from it a few weeks at a time and I didn't like doing that. It's been nice to prioritize this. Helps that like uh, chat and YouTube absolutely loves it as well. Okay, so he's got dinosaurs and face downs. He did, wait, he set Heavy Storm? Weird. Oh, he wanted to keep his hand empty for this. I see. I guess that's fair. I question whether or not he did that on purpose, though. Okay, not bad. So I've got my uh, dragon deck. We're gonna roll with that. Main phase, control much from the field. Okay, just a union. Heavy Storm, call the haunted. Hmm... Could let Hassleberry just play Hassleberry. I'll get extra attack power if I summon ele Element Dragons. So let's do this. Yu-Gi-Oh fans go out of the way to watch Yu-Gi-Oh content. I mean, yeah, we've been over this a lot. Yu-Gi-Oh is just fun. It seems like it's even more popular nowadays than when I was a kid. Now nah, that's probably a stretch. The peak of its popularity was like with the OG one where they had like toys and everything for sure. Oh, shrink. Well, that sucks. Eh, it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put down Ring of Destruction for Hassleberry to use. Or maybe see if they tribute something first. Why not? Molten Destruction. Not yet. Okay, Fire Monster. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna activate Ring of Destruction. And we're gonna use it on the big monster there. Pop that. And we'll see if they still attack when I go ahead and do this. Because we'll match an attack power when Element Dragon comes out, of course. Oh, wait. He discarded these. Huh. Morphing Jar. That's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, if this card is in the attack position at the beginning of the battle phase, first you can, you can and must attack all monsters in your opponent's field. Once with each with this card. Okay, so it has to just attack. That's the point of it. A big deal. Just in case, I'll use this one, though. There we go. Castleberry actually set me up. Tyranno Infinity isn't in Tag Force until the third game. Okay, so we can't run that one. The dinosaur that gets, a, like, a billion attack points if you banish a bunch of dinos. We're gonna figure this out. I wanna play Dino Beatdown. So far, Hassleberry seems to have a good deck. He has, like, his, um, the usual su uh, staple support cards and monsters that just whack things. That's what you need, right? Uh, okay, we can do piercing damage. Do I wanna put you down? Hang on, what's the attack power? 1500. I'll just do this. It's not a big deal. Don't set until main phase two. You know what? I could just use uh, this Dust Tornado to pop his back one. Hasselberry has two Dust torn Tornadoes. Does he have any MST, though? Definitely stand to give him one of those. Dark Blade. Yeah, we got him. Oh, wait, no, we're 100 short. Oh, I hate that. Well, let's get him. Rex Raptor plays dinosaurs. Like, anyone cares about Rex Raptor. I don't even like Hassleberry, but he's way cooler than Rex Raptor. He's got Solar Flare Dragon and Snatch Steel. Dang, I should have apparently set my freaking Solemn. I didn't think I'd need to. No problem. Eh, doesn't matter. He wants to attack it, he can attack it. 
We're just getting a feel for Hassleberry's deck with this one. Okay, we send that down. Take 500. Come on, Hassleberry, I believe in you. Play your Heavy Storm and get our monster back. There you go. Oh, he's he's putting down the ultimate Tyranno. Heck yeah. It seems like he has cards like Shallow Grave and Gillosaurus for special summons, so that he has Tribute Fodder for that stuff. At least that works, right? Let me see. Six, six, eight. Ouch, I lost, and I thought I was going to win there. Let's duel again. All right, victory, Asprey. Let's keep it up. Okay, Great Axe, a Bug's World. Let's stool you two, then. Nice, fair duel. We are going to absolutely open up everything. With, um, yeah. With the Dino Pack, I mean. Hang on, I am fixing my posture. Don't worry. Streamer is being a good woman. Pretty standard dino beatdown he's got. Once we can edit his deck, we could probably do some cool things to it, too. Gotta get going in an hour, that's alright. As long as everything is nice and cozy today. Ordinarily, I take this day of the week off, but I actually have a dentist appointment tomorrow, so I switch days. Oh, so don't get used to it. Let me see... If, th yeah, this thing's pretty good. Dancing Fairy is that. We'll throw down this. Pop some stuff back there. What was that? Fairy of the Spring. Add one equipped spell from the graveyard to your hand. What a useless card. Like, why does it have that restriction? You can't activate equip spells this turn. Like, because apparently getting an equipped spell from your graveyard was just too good. Wow. Anyways, this one's wind, but it won't be able to beat over that, so I think it's probably best if we put this down. Oh wait, no. Hassleberry can't level up. Duh. I can't play that strategy anymore. That's fine, then. Excellent. Do I even have Snatch Deal? I don't think I do. It would be good to just kind of, like, grab something as Tribute Fodder, though. You just got an equip spell from your graveyard. Oh no. Anything but that, please. Wait, he's got Giant Rat? I guess Giant Rat can search out uh, dinos, can it? Yeah, it's the Earth It's the earth Recruiter, so that is what it does. Now, if I can keep my dragon on board... Yeah, let's level it up. I love how it specifically refers to the effect as leveling up, and not as, like, do you want to activate the effect of Arm Dragon level 3, like most other cards do with their wording. This should be more than enough. Hmm. Do I want to have a backup? Nah, I don't. I'm playing risky. Okay. That doesn't matter. At all. Do this. Spirit of the Breeze. And then we finish him off with the Sabersaurus. Look at that. So it looks like we got a feel with what Hassleberry is doing. There should be a dinosaur achievement, right? Alright, victory, Asprey. Let's keep it up. Hang on, we can open some cards right now. And then we could do a little bit of the dungeon, too, to get some EXP. Because we're getting close to level 40. Hello, Sadie. Would you like some cards? Yes, I would like some cards, actually. I've got lots of points. I got these with Chaz. Anything new? Wait, is this new? Back for more zombie-type monsters. I think... It, I don't remember this being here. But I have 6% of the cards. This pack contains cards that Hassleberry uses. Gar. She just... Did she just gar at me? Alright. Committed to the bit, I guess. 
Let's buy the whole box. And I think we'll also buy a whole box. Let's see what we get. Bonding H2O. Oh, we we're not using that. Alien Hunter. This is a reptile, not a dinosaur. Dawn Turtle. Crop Circles. Alien cards are just packed in there. We could use Hydro... Ge Hydro Gedon has a fantastic effect, actually. That would synergize well with Tributing for Dino Beat Sticks. Oh, I gotta run this at three, but it's an Ultra. I remember I used this in the Tag Force 1, didn't I? It's had a really good effect for that. Dinosaurs are reptiles. <laughs> They're not alien reptiles. Balloon Lizard. Put one counter on this card during each of your standby phases. When this card is destroyed, inflict damage to the controller and destroyed it. Oh, okay. It's a ticking time bomb that's never going to go off because this effect is bad. Uribai. This thing is um in False Bound Kingdom. Death Sparrow Imp. Reptile. Send one card from your graveyard, add it to your deck, and shovel your deck. Babysaurus. If this card is destroyed by an effect and sent to the graveyard, select level 4 or lower dinosaur attempt monster from your deck and special summon it. This is, like, the good one, right? Or is this only relevant later? Because I remember this being, um, very integral to dinosaur decks, but I don't know if that applies yet, because it's, like, destroyed by effect, and this era, you know, effects aren't really popping everything. Correct? It's good later, but not right now. It's, it's good, but not yet. Gets insanely good later on. Alright, yeah. Because I recognize this card. I remember seeing it everywhere for a while in videos. But, um... Yeah. It's gonna get attacked more than destroyed by effect. So, it's not good yet. Maybe... What about in the 5Ds Tag Force games? Is it good by then? Or is it like XE's era? Raise Body Heat. Okay, generic equip. Black Tyranno. If your opponent controls no uh, cards except defense position monsters, this card can attack your opponent directly. For two tributes? Mm, no thanks. Oberman Sakuzi. Flip this card face down. Oh, it's a reptile. I don't care. Alien Shock Trooper. Aliens I kind of want to play, but like I hear they're not very good and never have been good. Is this really good? Is this like combo with something? Dinosaurs are much worse in general in 5Ds, so not really that better. Oh, okay. Alien Psychic. Psychic's not a type yet. Oh, hey, Mad Sword Beast. Yeah, this is the dinosaur with the piercing damage. Um, we could run this at 3. It wouldn't be too bad, especially if we have a field spell like Jurassic World to buff it. Ultra Evolution Pill. Tribute a reptile monster on your side of the field to special summon a dinosaur. Oh, okay. Don't think that's the one I need. Oh, I got my own ultimate Tyranno. Sick. Um, you're a massive alien fan and you're going to be real. They, they're ass. Okay. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, this is like one of the only cards before Lynx that, um, like applies the, the space, right? Yeah, it takes monster zone placement into account. Anyways, we can put one ultimate Tyranno in because I feel like it should be fine. Gale Lizard, Otherworld A-Zone, Element Saurus. Oh, it's like the Element Dragon. 500 attack, negate the effect of a monster that destroyed, that this card destroyed by battle. That's not too bad. Could maybe splash two of those in. If I need them. Oh, Hyper Hammerhead, that's good. Yeah, we definitely want to run this thing at three. Destroyed by battles, return to owner's hand, and damage step. And yeah, this is the generic one tribute piercer. Alien Grey. That's another reptile. Water Dragon, and it's a Sea Serpent. Hang on, I need to pull for more Hydro Get On for sure. Activate only when a monster is special summon to your opponent's side of the field. Special summon a dinosaur monster from your he hand. Okay, maybe not against uh, AI opponents here. Alien Skull. Okay, we got our three sabers. Uh, that thing is kind of useless. Cobra Jar, Volcanic Eruption, Serpentine Princess. Oh, nice. Oxy, get on there. Um, don't think that... I don't really want to run Water Dragon, though. It's a main deck monster. I, Hydro Gedon's probably all I need. Oh, Gillosaur, sick. Yeah, this is the one we absolutely want at three, for sure. Cosmic Horror. Ew, that thing. 
Miracle Jurassic Egg, face up on the field, cannot be, this card cannot be removed from play. Place two counters on this card each time a dinosaur type monster is sent to your graveyard by tributing this card. Uh, select and special summon a dinosaur monster whose, whose level is equal to or lower to the number of counters on this card. Is this one any good or is it too slow to work in this era? Because I feel like, I, I don't know if I can get enough special summons. Hang on. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Sent to the graveyard. I'd have to discard from my hand with something like card destruction. It's slow, but good. Yeah. Tail swipe. Select one le face up level five or higher dinosaur monster your side of the field. Turn owner's hands. Monsters that are either lower level than the selected monster or face down your opponent's side of the field. Okay. I don't know if I want to use that. This card is selected as an attack target. It's changed to defense position. Okay, it's fine. We're almost to the bottom, don't worry. Oh, Superconductor Tyranno. Once per turn by tripping a monster, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. Cannot declare an attack. I mean, whatever. Do I want to run this over uh, the ultimate Tyranno? They're both two tributes. And this one doesn't have to attack. Yeah. Razor Lizard. Destroyer Saurus. What's this? What is that artwork? Is this anime only? You can discard this card to the graveyard to add Jurassic World from your deck to your hand. Oh, and it's an ultra. I've never heard of this one. Okay. Well then, that works for me. Really good, you're telling me. The field spell is probably in this then. Hang on. I don't want to sit on the menu the whole time. Let's get... Ah, uh, you're the basic guy. Let's duel you guys. Let's see if we can handle them. Get some extra duel points and some experience in here with Hassleberry. It's like Harpy Queen for dinos. Okay. I, I, I think I already have the pieces I need. But I definitely want... There's a lot of ultras I want to run at three for sure. Let's do it. Great Danos. Did Hasselberry have a signature monster? I don't even remember in the anime. He just had dinosaurs. And dino DNA. And he also talked like a soldier. Didn't he? I don't know if he did that in the, in the sub. Or if that was just a dub only thing. So probably ultimate Tyrannos. Probably, but I don't remember him really dueling much. He played his Jurassic World. That's good. Okay, buff that. Giant Rats got that. Hmm. Hang on a second. You're Earth. That's Dark. Earth. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll throw down this. And we'll use Stamping Destruction to pop that back row there. And you know what? I think we can just go ahead and flip up the rat. Basic duel right here to get a feel for our new partner. Now, we had our fun playing with Chaz, but let's be real. Chaz was not a good partner. I think by far, he made the most ridiculous plays out of everybody. Oh, his character has an Osaka accent? I didn't even think about that. Usually, when a, a character in a dub has any kind of accent, it's to emphasize the point that they talk differently than the main cast, and usually that's because in the sub, they just have, yeah, an Osaka accent. And I'll set this, because why not? There we go. Y you get things like Joey Wheeler, where they're talking like they're, um... Hold up a second, I'll do this. Like they're from Brooklyn. And I guess for Hassleberry, they made him talk like that. He's a soldier, yeah. Excellent. The reverse of that is also true, by the way. Like, take something like Resident Evil 7. You know, the one that takes place in the bio. Um, the character drives down to Louisiana. If you play the Japanese dub of that game, um, the characters that have, like, that southern accent talk with an Osaka accent. <laughs> it's not just a one-way translation thing. It's just every... Every region does that, like I said, to just emphasize the point that the character is talking different. 750. There we go. 
Guess even pros have bad luck. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, we got our first heart. What about you guys back here? Anybody? Queen's era. Okay, let's get one more duel in with these guys. See what else Hassleberry's got. Because I can't look at his deck until I have the uh, four stars there. Hello, friend. Welcome. Kansai accent. Yeah, there's a, there's a few different ones, right? Kansai, Osaka. I don't know. I'm not Japanese, so I don't know these things. I learned it all from watching anime. Body Blast, Queen's Era. Pippin's Body Blast deck used to be annoying. Let's see. Alright, send it out. Karate Man. Hell yeah. Okay, pardon me, was just down and drink there. We got this, we got the Black Stego there. We can beat over Karate Man with that, so it doesn't matter. Actually, I could just tribute the Dino for that. Nice. Don't need to do that. We'll go ahead and set this. And we'll go in the attack, because why not? Two MSTs? Hell yeah. Let's go. Arm Dragon, level up. No, 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 no. Don't want to do that. Accidentally pressed yes on that. That would have been real bad. Now we got level 7 on board on my first turn. Nah, I don't really want to play Reptiles. Reptiles don't really have much, especially in this era. Um... We could play Venoms. The most famous and best archetype ever made. They got Snake Rain. That just sets up your graveyard perfectly. There we go. DNA Surgery. Asselberry frothing at the mouth now of hearing that. Well, um, that popped him. Oh. Oh, you poor soul. <laughs> That's great. I like the idea of, like, the more I get into Yu-Gi-Oh! and see little archetypes, I want to mess around with them. But then I see things like aliens, and, like, they have all this stuff they can do. And then the more you look at them, you realize, like, wow, this this is kind of sucks. And then you hear everyone else be, who has more experience be like, yeah, they suck. There's no reason to play it. There we go. Like, I know it's a meme for Yu-Gi-Oh! where only one or two decks at a time are playable. But, man... Some of them are just, like, you literally can't do do what they want you to do. Like, VWXYZs. Even if you get them all off, your opponent can just trap hole that thing. You've beaten me. I'm thoroughly impressed. Okay, this is going good. Let's open up another box or two. Excellent. Excellent. I just like the pretty art on the cards, and I want to see them do stuff together. You see... I have been struggling to, uh, do anything in Master Duel, though. From what I understand, you need to have, like, 10 to 15 of, like, these staple hand traps to stop your opponent from, like, doing certain things. Otherwise, your deck doesn't even get a chance to, like, go. Okay, let me take this. I understand why the hand traps are so prevalent now. Here we go. I'll buy another one. You know what? Give me a third one. I need two more copies of Hydro Get On and all that, so let's do it. Okay, Alien Psychic, Gale Lizard, more Tyranno. Corruption Cell A. I got more Hammerhead. Excellent. Oxy Get On, Dark Dry Ceratops, Baby Sarasaurus. Come on, what else have we got? Uh oh. This isn't looking good. Where, any ultras? Oh, big evolution pill. Hassleberry had multiple of these. Tribute a dinosaur monster. This card remains face up on your field for three of your opponent's turns. Uh, well, this card is face up on the field. You can normal summon or set dinosaur. Oh, this one. It, do you think this is worth? Wait, I pulled three copies of it. Dude, where is my, where was my ultra luck before? Okay. Hmm. 
me see. Hasselberry is already running this card. I feel like I don't even need to run it myself. What do you think? Because, like, if Hasselberry activates it, it's going to be there for both of us. Maybe at least run it at one? Hmm. Let's keep going. Brainwashing Beam. Tail Swipe. De oh, another Destroyer Saurus. I need one more. Okay. Uh, cell Breeding Device. Okay. Frostosaurus. Okay, level 6 with that stat. May as well just use the Piercer. Oh, nice. One more Hydra get on. Oh, and one copy of Jurassic World. Black Pitera. I know, it's just Terra. Sent from the field to the graveyard, except by destroyed by battle, it is returned to the owner's hand. Superconducto Tyranno. Nice. I think I have the pieces I need to make a deck now, but I want a couple more, so let's do this. I heard about Trap Tricks as something to get used to. Um, I actually did get a couple of copies of the Structure deck. I heard you can just, like, put the, a couple of those together to make something competent. But I still just don't know how Yu-Gi-Oh! really works. I've been, um... Playing a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, bit of Pokemon, bit of the new Digimon one. But I uh, haven't had time lately to have anyone over to do more of that. The new Digimon card game's really fun. I want to get more into that one. Okay, let's try this. Okay, one more Hydro get on. I got Ultimate Tyranno again. Cosmic Horror. Oh, there's my second Jurassic World. Okay, that's it. Nah, I don't really want to play Magic. I don't really have any nostalgic attachment to Magic, so I don't want to buy its pretty pictures. Oh, there's my third. Okay, we're good. Another Ultimate Tyranno. I'm actually pulling Ultras today. That's good. Oh, and my third Jurassic World. Do I need a third one, actually? Damn it, I didn't think about that. Because Hasselberry's also going to be running it. Maybe I only need, like, one or two. There's my, my third Gillosaurus. Because I got two. Okay, I think I can start building it. It's time, chat. To the deck edit. It's time to play with dinosaurs. Look at all those new things there. I don't have any dino fusions. Okay, empty deck. Okay, are you ready? Let's go down to... Everyone remind me what dinosaur cards I need. I'll put two in for now. Because I immediately forget everything. That one's too slow. That one's like that. At least the new symbol helps. Cobra. Let me see. I'm going to need my staples as well, of course. Do I want this at two? Destroyer Saurus, we definitely want that. Hydro get on, of course. When I see it. You see now. Frosty Saurus is there. Flying Saucer. Oh, there it is. Gillosaurus. I think I want to do this at three. You want to open with that at all times so your opponent can't do the special summon. There's Heavy Storm. Get rid of a staple while we're here. Three Hydro get on. Hammerhead. Deck's at 16 now. Um. Oh, there's Jurassic World. I'm gonna put this at three right now until I decide what I need to change later. Hippo. No Dino Fusions I can think of I need. I don't think they really do Fusions. And I may as well put this in. Let me see. Put in that. Did I put... Okay, I put in three. Hmm. Ultimate Tyranno is definitely towards the bottom. We'll get to that one. Mega Zowler. Look at that thing. That's another one that's in Falsebound Kingdom. Yeah. Okay, taking a look here. Jurassic Egg seems too slow for this game, so I don't think I want to do that. <clears throat> Pardon me. 
Um, I don't think I want to play this yet, because I want to make a deck that wins with just dinos for the Chivo. Pardon me, I need a... I immediately need a drink, everyone. Ouch, um... I'm good. I'm good. Other world A. Hmm. Okay, taking a look, taking a look. Put the ring in, because why not? This is the only game we're going to get to use rings, so why the hell not? I think I have too many beat sticks in there now. <laughs> but why not? Superconductor Tyranno. I feel like... Is there any reason to put this one in? Any reason to not run this instead of the, um, ultimate Tyranno? Because that one's forced to attack, right? But I guess it has to attack every monster. What's better, Superconductor or Ultimate? I actually don't know what the what the idea is here. I'll try running Ultimate, then, if I can clear the whole board easily. Put this in. And what about Tail Swipe? How's that, how's that work? Base up level higher, dire and start monsters out of the field to activate this card. Select and return uh, to the owner's hands. Two monsters that are either lower level or face down. I feel like this one requires a bit too much setup to be helpful in case we're in a jam. Doesn't seem that great, yeah. It requires you to already have a strong monster on the field, so it seems like a bit of a win more option. The Melting Red Shadow. Ew. Hmm. There's that one. Ah, here's ultimate. Um... Should I run it at three? It seems risky. Maybe two is fine for now. I kind of want to put this in. Hmm. Volcanics are pyro. I might try volcanics sometime, but not now. Uh, what else could we go for? What else? Oh, mirror force, yeah. I need my staple spell and traps now for the remaining ten, don't I? MST. Marshmallow's good as well, but... Hang on. I want pure dinos for the achievement, though. Okay. Hmm. The last five cards. Ah, uh, do you think? What, what do you think? Hmm. I yeah, I have two of these right here. Hmm. New, new, new. See, Hasselberry is also going to be running these, so I wonder if it's okay to run this at two. Then again, I should put my last five in. Card frames. Any other spell or traps I could put in? Did I put this in? Yes, I did. Hmm. Uh, Tyranno Infinity doesn't exist yet, so I can't put it in. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. What's this one? Pro okay, it's an alien card. I guess I could throw in Ceasefire. I don't want to spend too long on here. I like deck building, but I always feel like it's kind of boring to watch when I uh, spend a chunk in here. But people seem to like watching me do it anyway, so. And then there was Ultra Evolution Pill. Nah, we're not going to run that. We're not playing Reptile. Hmm. Soul Exchange? Um, that might actually be okay. I have to skip my battle phase for this one. How many high levels do I have? I'm running two ultimate Tyrannos and two dark dry Dryceratops. Hmm. Raised body heat. That's a generic, really generic equip I don't want. Am I recording? Yeah, I am. Uh, you gave me a heart attack by saying that. I thought I wasn't. 300... Oh, pardon me, I'm hiccuping. 
Oh, I'm good. Um, mage power. <laughs> I don't know. Lightning vortex. Something. We can figure this out as we go on. Would this hurt to put in? I don't know. Maybe a little slow. Maybe a little slow. Don't don't I have enough monsters? I could put in one more Sabersaurus. <laughs> I could. Uh, let me check here. Got Gillosaurus in there, don't worry. Big Bang is there. I'll probably splash in Morphing Jar and Marshmallow. But after I get the Dino Achievo. Uh, hang on a second. Can s Wait a second, hang on. Would Sangen be okay in a Dino deck when I do when I do that? I don't know. First, hang on, hang on. Uh Oxygenon's there. I need to go up to normal monsters for Sabersaurus. That's what I gotta do. Sabersaurus, Sabersaurus. Sabersaurus, there it is. Alright, one more card. I just need one more thing in there. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Yeah, you know what? Car destruction, don't care. Now let's make a save. Change the name first. I'm proud of me too, I remembered. Dino. Za. Do this. Save recipe. Dinos are Earth, yeah, but we need pure dinos here. Damn it, I hit the wrong button. We need pure dinos for the dinosaur achievement. We'll put in Marshmallow and friends in there a little bit too. Okay. Database. Dual ranking. Challenge. Okay, let's find the type ones. Zonia the Forbidden One. Summon those things. Summon Gate Guardian. Summon Dark Sage. Dark monsters. They're different types. Zombie, Fiend, Pyro, Sea Serpent, Machine. Dinosaurs. Oh, no, I'm the wrong one. Okay. We can probably pop some uh, extra dual points by playing this way for a bit now. Okay, let's start with you, Gillian. Everyone's favorite beatdown. Gillian. Yeah, throwing in Sangen, Marshmallow, Giant Rat would be good. What about Morphing Jar? Do I need that? A mausoleum. Great dinos. Wait a second. If I'm dinos and he's great dinos, does that mean my deck is inferior? I can't believe this. Oh yeah, Axe of Despair or something would be good on uh, Ultimate Tyranno, but I did also put United We Stand and Mage Power in there. Just as some generic support for beatdown, guys. Ooh, so sorry. He's going for the field spell. Is this gonna be the playthrough that finally makes me stop uh, crying about Hassleberry? Okay, special summon monster from their graveyard. There's nothing in their graveyard, so we'll do this. Okay. Now, Sabersaurus can beat over you. I can also just special summon this again, too, if I like. That's awesome. Oh, you know what I realized could be good if I ran more tribute monsters? Gillosaurus with Soul Exchange. They bring back a monster, and I Soul Exchange and tribute it. But that requires a specific hand to get going, so... It'd be funny if it works, though. I, yeah, like, I remember Gillosaurus and things like Legacy of the Duelist and all that. Like, this thing is good. Oh, wait, no, it was also pretty relevant in Duel Academy on the Game Boy Advance. Okay. I'm selected as an attack target, so it's pretty safe to put this in attack mode. Well, let's hope they don't flip anything on us. I'm going for it. Be gone. Wow, that's pretty rude. 
Well, I'm still attacking you. Oh, if I special summon it again, he can bring back that thing. Oh, that's annoying. Flex battle damage. No problem. What about monarchs and dinosaurs, right? Well, their tribute effects require... Then again, yeah, what if I, like... What if I put in Mobius in here? I special summon Gillosaurus, and then I just play Mobius to wipe out the back row. That would be good, yeah. I got swords, I guess, yeah, but I don't want to- I don't want to give him the summon with Gillosaurus right now, anyway. So let's do this. I didn't press anything. There we go. He's going ceasefire on one monster? Okay. What? What? Did he almost actually resolve weather report? <laughs> what? Wow, Hasselberry knew with that ceasefire it was the good play. That never happens. That, like, never ever happens, and it still didn't. Because ceasefire didn't activate its effect. But, oh my goodness. Well, now we gotta deal with that thing. Mage power is kind of useless. Hmm. Only I had the damn field spell now. Hmm. Everything's gonna go back to my hand, and he's gonna be able to special summon his crap over and over. And we gotta use Mad Sword Beast. Do some piercing, clearly. You know what? Go ahead. Bring him back. I got an idea. He's gonna pick that. He's gonna put it in attack mode. That doesn't matter to me too much. Bring it back. Okay, put it in defense mode. Good. Now. This thing is annoying as heck enough to do damage to him if I do it like that. Not really. Swords are at two. It's only when they do battle damage, so... Hmm. Still. I'm piercing him. Make me do it. Okay. Now let's try doing this. Are you serious? It was Soul Tiger. Well, now he's gonna get rid of it. Wait a second. Wait, wait a second. Go ahead. He's gonna set it, but the swords are gonna go away anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, that worked out for that. But now we gotta deal with that boy over there. He's unaffected by the trap card, so it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna end turn and see what happens. I need Hassleberry to do this. Okay, he's tributing. He's putting Ultimate Tyranno down, and he's attacking the face down. He has to attack all of them, what am I saying? And now it's gonna go back to the hand. I really wish he used that Trunade first, but let's be real. Partners in this game are not very smart. Okay, we know we can put down Soul Tiger. Hmm. Be Gone Nave is already gonna activate that. Basically, I can just poke him a few times and win, assuming he doesn't flip anything up. I don't need to do that. Yeah, okay, let's try this. Yeah, it's Soul Tiger, but we take damage. And it goes back to your hand, and we poke you. 1400. 
Back to my hand, but who cares? I can probably just mage power pierce kill him next turn. Be gone, Knave is such an annoying trap card in this game. Especially when I can't seem to draw my freaking back row removal. Or my partner won't use their giant true nade. Oh no, don't do that. Hassleberry, I'm begging you. No, don't don't do that. Okay. Oh, th th that's big brain. Wait, what are you doing? Huh? Okay. Thought you were gonna... Thought you were gonna do something else there, Hassleberry. I am I losing my mind, or did he just not summon Ultimate Tyranno for some, for some reason? Because it looked like that's what he was supposed to do, and then he just didn't do it. <laughs> Let me read this. Okay, you can normal summoner set that. Yeah, he could! Instead, he just set Morphing Jar? What's wrong with him? Ugh. Hang on, let's activate this. Okay, we got my field spell. So let's put this down. Fortunately, I have nothing to tribute there. Do you think it's like frontline base where he doesn't know? Oh no! You're telling me Hasselberry what doesn't know how to use his own card? That would suck. Oh no! The Chaz has infected his brain. Since he could have summoned, he Hasselberry looked like he was about to do the big brain play. Instead, he got Dino Brain. Well, that's probably safe. So you know what I can do is I can just put Saber Saurus down, buff it with Mage Power, and attack over you for game. I think I'll do that. Twenty-two hundred there. Let's just finish them and see what happens. We need to run more tests. Get it. Okay, we cleared it level three. So let's find a higher level duelist to beat. That was a great duel. Never forget this feeling. Oh, time to report to class. Nah. You gotta be kidding me. Well, if you're not going, neither am I. I don't feel like going to class. I want to play with the dino deck I made. To the forest. Anyone here? No. We ain't gotta go to class. We're too busy being dinosaur users. There's nothing here. How about the cliff? Cutting class, yeah. Hell yeah, that's what we're doing. Even the teachers are cutting class. I don't want to duel Hose. Hose is annoying. Ah, oh, he's the only one here? You know what? Fine, they're probably gonna slaughter us, but let's do it. X my seat. Let's do it. First to go. I'm a little bit worried. I need confirmation that Hasselberry knows how to use Ultra Evolution. Or whatever the hell that card was called. Hydrate? Don't mind if I do. Hydrate or dihydrate, chat. Nice. Did he norm- Okay, I thought he- I thought he normal summoned that for a second. Stretch like a teddy. Don't worry. Okay, I've got the card. Ball is in my court. I don't have anything to use at Fawn. Hang on a second. So I'll do this, and I'll see if Hassleberry will make use of it. Okay. Now I could get another dino thing. Hmm. Destroyer Saurus has good attack power. We already have our thing. I'm gonna United We Stand. I'm probably gonna bump into a Mirror Force, but I'm willing to take that risk. 
I'm willing to do the big brain, because this is Dino Beatdown, not Dino Backdown. Wow, that sounded pretty cool. Put that on a shirt, chat. There we go. Okay, it's a giant rat. No problem. It'll go in attack mode, right? Yeah. Ooh, that's some crunchy damage right there. Do that. He's gonna run through the whole group anyway, so there's no reason to have waited. Sabersaurus wasn't attacking him directly. And now he ends on Howling Insect. Okay. Hmm. Hasselberry would buy that shirt? Hell yes, he would. Defense mode. Swords. Level limit. Area B. Okay, weenie. He has an 80-card deck. Oh, did that guy? Uh, Pablo, you mean? Oh, don't give him the rat back. Whatever. I feel like Shallow Grave is a bit of a liability to leave in Hasselberry's deck. I think someone said last time that Hasselberry also has uh, funny events. Are the first four the same ones? Like, is the first one going to be Dark Magician Girl again? Hey, okay, Hasselberry hasn't had something in his hand to use this with yet. Um, level limit needs to go, because swords will go on their own. So let's do this. No, don't need a set. And this is another Destroyer Saurus. First four events are all recycled. Yeah, I think in Tag Force 3, that's when, um... Let's see... Yeah, probably safer in attack mode. Tag Force 3 is when all the events are unique, right? And I heard that, like, once we get to the 5Ds ones, that's where Tag Force really starts to step it up. The 3 is pretty good. But no one played it because it was only released in English in Europe. Well, there goes that. He has another Shallow Grave? Oh, no. Dude, he's just gonna keep giving the opponent summons. Shallow Grave with Gillosaurus is a little too much, if you ask me. He's flipping up sand again. He wants to attack. I got Gillosaurus. I can, see, I can special summon this for free because um, he, he, he has no room on his field, so he can't get the special summon. So that's why it's a good time to use that then, but... Mad Sword Beast is probably a good play right now. So, I, we can finally attack, and if I hit a Mirror Force, I'm gonna scream. Maybe scream. 2,000, 2,000... Well, I guess I need to save Saber Source for that one. The rat can stay in defense mode, just in case. Go on, take it. Oh, you little jerk. You little piece of... Okay. End turn. I'm playing dinos better than VWXYZ Ojama. Yes, I am. Because those were bad. He's got Tail Swipe. We could probably take that out of Tasselberry's deck, too. Okay, I'm gonna use this because I need to draw I need to draw my heavy storm or something. MST, I'll take it. He's gonna flip up another floodgate, though, you just know it. Okay. Let's try this again, everybody. Mad Sword Beast can go through the sand again. That's right, you're not flipping anything up. You pick that. Okay. You always want to attack with the strongest one last, right? Which card effects are the reason for that again? But I remember that's the order of events because it's, it's always just better just in case. Howling Insect. Okay, there's that. It's because of Gores? Okay, I thought Gores was for effect damage, but I probably had it misremembered. Not like my partner knew how to use it. Get beaned for almost 4k. There we go. I was worried. Was worried. Or Magic Cylinder. That's also true. Okay, level 6. 1,000 points. Sick. Me losing to a Slifer Red? Let's see you try that again. You're a lowly Slifer Red. Come again, you want to lose. Heck yeah, we did it. 
Dino Beatdown's pretty fun. Because it's caveman strats. And I know how to caveman. Uh, oh no, not Jasmine. Jasmine with Crowler sounds like a nightmare. In fact, I'm pretty sure we've seen that before. And that's Woody. Not you. Been a hot minute since I put ha Hasselberry in a thumbnail, didn't I? Countdown? Oh! This guy's level 8. Let's do that. No, no, no. This is a PSP game. Lose, win. First to go. Second to go. Heck yeah. Gogo's words. Or Goe Goe's words. Start. Hey, there's my dark dried ceratops. Oh, Prowler doesn't find out we skipped class. Not class, anything but that. Destroyer Saurus is getting sent away for this. Thrown down Jurassic World. Oh no, we got MST negated. Well, that's easy enough. Main phase two, put down that dust tornado. At least he's got Heavy Storm on backup for now. Oh, that thing. Hey, uh, face up, let me read it, please. This card attacks face up defense position monster. Destroy the monster with this card's effect without applying damage calculation. Okay. No problem. I'm gonna set all this stuff. And I'm gonna put down Dark... Hang on, how many monsters does he have? Any? Oh, he's got Solar Flare. Okay. Do I want to give him the summon? I can easily beat over it, but... Um, I could use the special summon as the fodder and keep spe uh, Saber Source, so I should be able to beat over just fine. So I'll do it. I wonder if you're playing dinos and your opponent's just like... I'm talking about IRL, by the way. And if your opponent's like, can I see your graveyard? You 100% know they're about to play Gilosaurus, don't, aren't they? <laughs> okay. Let's get rid of you. I'm gonna put you down. Okay. Now we're gonna put this on the big beat stick, and now it has almost 4k. Excellent. Um... And we'll just attack you first. Ah. I love having giant, like, monster with big number. That's cool. It's all fun and games until someone flips up the magic cylinder, though. Opponent can see your graveyard at any time for any reason, any or no reason, and you have to comply. Well, there goes that. That sucks. Um. Andrew was actually telling me the other day about something. Like, you know how there's that card, uh, Nibiru, the Primal Being? It's the one that basically nukes your opponent's board if, um, they perform five special summons, right? He told me that there's a ruling that you're not allowed to, not allowed to, like, uh, do stuff to imply that you're gonna play Nibiru now, because too many people were doing that. Like, people would just be like, it was at your fifth special summon. They start counting out loud to, to kind of psych them out. Apparently that was so prevalent that Konami said you're not allowed to do it anymore. You can't pretend you're gonna- you're gonna play Nibiru. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Excellent. Perfect. Okay, warriors returning alive. Is Nibiru still, um, something you need to run? Because I know that your opponent's gonna be doing a lot more in five special summons if they want to make a big board. What if you're actually planning to play it? I guess, but... I, I don't know the specific ruling, but you can't just, like, be a dick with how you say things, I guess. You Like, you can't just be, like, every time your opponent makes a special summon, be like, be a shame if someone were to, like, get rid of all that with Nibiru. There we go. Hmm. Can't do it. Uh, can't until you actually summon it. 
It's a it's a rule that you're not allowed to like imply card effects are coming or something like that. I like it makes sense, but it's just kind of funny to me. Let me see. If you ask to see the grave but don't have anything to interact with, I I feel like you would be accused of like uh, stalling the timer in that case. If you just randomly wanted to check the opponent's graveyard over and over for no reason, they you'd just be <laughs> trying to do that, right? That's how I would probably see that. In a tournament setting, of course. Anyways. Um, sorry, I was a little distracted there thinking about it, but I don't think I need to play Ultimate Tyranno. I just wanted to see what chat was saying about the Nibiru rule. Let's do this. Break him with that. Then use the Mad Sword Beast to hit this. Perfect. 739. We're winning with dinos. I have been defeated. Play again. No higher level duel there. Maybe I should just YOLO and try and beat this combo. What level are you? Six. Jasmine has level seven. You're also level seven. Yeah, you know what? Let's duel you two. Come on, Woody. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. First go. First to go, second to go, tag duel, single duel. I feel like people implying effects wouldn't really do a whole lot to stop a meet anyway. What I understand at big turn oh uh, you didn't see that. I hit a button with my uh with my leg here <laughs> when I set my controller down. What was that? Nothing, nothing. What well, and what was I saying? <laughs> um Well, I managed to go twenty episodes this time without doing that. New record. Anyways. At, like, tournaments and stuff, the big thing is just people just, like, you know, shuffling their decks in a way where the good cards are at the top. That's the big one. Can't just play a damn card game anymore. Everyone gotta ruin it. Alright, put this down. Hydro get has got that. We can easily beat over you with the Jurassic Boost. The Berserk Gorilla must go. I was talking about this during the previous stream, uh, when I think it was Purity Forest or something, but I was re watching a video about, about like a bunch of esports scandals. I think it was like League of Legends or something, I don't know, but basically a lot of people had to get like mass banned because they were like colluding with the other teams about for throwing matches to win like, uh, <laughs> to basically gamble on the other team. And the result is they just give people lifetime bans. I dropped this. All right, he's gonna heavy storm. There it is. Esports betting is a set uh, cesspool, so I heard. Excellent. Banisher of the Radiance. Okay, let me do this here. Oh no no no! Don't do that. While this card is face up on the field, any card sent to the graveyard move from play instead. Okay. That's the case. I'm just gonna put down this. I'm gonna set this. And then we're just gonna beat over him again. Pop him. The Stegosaurus is pretty safe because it goes to defense mode automatically if it's attacked. That's a pretty decent effect, not gonna lie. Let's me poke for a little extra damage. Let's do it. Oh, he's tributing. He's going for the dark dra- Okay. Now that's just rude. Oh. And now he gets to do that. Snatch steal it. Snatch steal it. Hasselberry actually has snatch steal in his hand. Oh my goodness. This is great. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Oh. Okay, play the hammerhead and crash it into him. He's not- Okay. No, wait, he already used up his summon. What am I saying? He can't do that. Hasselberry was actually being pretty smart there. 
Damn. Well, this is bad. <laughs> All right then. I guess um Oh, right. He, his effect goes off when he destroys a monster, not when he uh, is destroyed himself. My bad. By the way, I know that, like, Oxygenon is oxygen, and Water Dragon is water, but every time I see Hydro get on, it just looks like living root beer. Like, look at it. It's like, it's just cola or root beer in the form of a dinosaur. That's all I see. I know it's hydrogen, but, like, it's root beer. It's got the fizz. Well, all I can do is set a monster and, like, die. This is actually really bad. We got outplayed. Fun. Let's do it, everybody. We're in trouble here. Asselberry, I'm begging you to know how the hammerhead works. Okay, Giant Rat is probably the better play. Uh-oh. Wait, no! You can't recruit because it goes... Oh, it went to the banish pile instead. Oh, that sucks. Man, we were actually doing well. They just had the perfect cards to shut us down the other turn. Man. They're doing so well. Let's get out of here. Asselberry was actually doing fine. He just got rejected off that there. Let's go to the dual field, I guess. Here's you two. You with the gambler. Me and my roids. Risk it all. Hear that chat? Risk it all. I'm a pro duelist. Are any of you a pro duelist, chat? Unless you're a professional duelist, you're not allowed to tell me how to play. Only professionals know that attacking eight turns in a row with Avion can win you the game. Let's do it. Start duel. Oh boy. You want money in a tournament once? Does it count? Well, technically you people are giving me subs to watch me duel, so therefore I'm a professional duelist. I'm a pro at Yu-Gi-Oh. Didn't say I was good at it, but I am a pro. Let's do it. Fine, Kamakiri. Send out the Sasuke Samurai number four. Oh, boy. Yeah, get out of here, you jerk. Get out of here, you jerk. Next player's turn. Can we win? I've been to a Yu-Gi-Oh! Locals, so... Hmm. I don't even know where that is around here. Flip that up and do it. I wanted to go to Fighting Game Locals again, but, um... Currently, my local scene isn't really happening because they're trying to get, like, a much larger venue. I got a buddy that pays more attention to that stuff, so... Whenever that becomes a thing, I'm probably going to I'm going to go along with him. I played Street Fighter 6 for a while, but I'm kind of already bored of it, to be honest. Um, I guess I may as well just normal summon this, but what's this? You should have one side of the field. Okay, I can't even make use of this anyway, so I may as well normal summon. Okay, Steamroid. You lose attack point. Run out of steam. 400. Excellent. I don't have a huge interest in fighting games right now. I might try Tekken if my buddy wants to. Um... I... There was a new Mortal Kombat, but I kind of just don't care about the new Mortal Kombats anymore. I was talking about this during Earthbound chat, but, um... I wanted to do some streams of, like, Mortal Kombat Mugen games with, like, um, basically doing commentating over a CPU tournament, right? But I realized that, like, I have no desire to play Eleven or the new one, uh, which is just one. Uh, 
It's like, once they got to, like, the MKX, it felt like they just went for dark and gritty realism instead of, like, the goofy, colorful stuff. And it was just, like, I just kind of got bored of it. There we go. Kind of made all the, like, the brutal fatality stuff even, like, just kind of made it seem cringe because they were trying to be edgy now. That's just me. Oh. Let me see. Let's go. All right, we're getting beat up. That's not good. Plus, I kind of hear people are already sick of the new one anyway. Let me see. Let me see. You know what? I'm going to heavy storm. There's no reason not to. Pop him. Mortal cringe. Well, see, what I mean is, you play, like, the new Mortal Kombat, like, uh, uh, the fatalities at the end of the round will be something like cutting a guy's face off, and you can see, like, the inside of his brain. The Mortal Kombat I grew up is you play as a yellow robot, and you punch somebody, and they explode into skeleton and body parts. That's, that's pretty different. <laughs> that's not what I like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, remember when Smoke puts down a bomb and it destroys the whole Earth? Excellent. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, we're gonna put this down. Ah, uh, I hate that annoying effect this thing's got, but you know what I can do is I could just use United We Stand and crash into this guy. So I'm gonna do that. I can end this pretty easily now. Distracted by the Mortal Kombat talk. Do that. And we win. 7-7-5. Seven, seven, Shoot, looks like my luck has run out. Don't think I'll be seeing you again. See ya. Alright, suit yourself, jerk. Let's fight him. Yeah, they used to be funny. <laughs> now it just fe seems like it's hyper-realistic bore for shock value. <clears throat> Pardon me. First to go, second. Excellent. That's why I've had a... I've been looking at some of those Mugen mods, though. With, like, a Mortal Kombat roster of, like, 60 to 70 characters, and they just look ridiculous. And I thought it'd be really funny to just make, like, the CPUs fight each other while I commentate it like it's a real tournament. That'd be so funny. Heavy Storm. All right, good. Get rid of him. Well, that sucks. Hammerhead got rid of the people. Uh, what does that say? Who, uh, Tulane? I'm not sure how to say that. I've seen that term before in games, so I don't know what the hell it is. Teddy token bets to, on who would win? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. When I make the little- oh, I got all spell and traps. When I make the little VTuber thing for the corner, uh, I'll give- I'll give the character a little commentator mic, and we can just have, like, CPU tournament streams, and I think that'd be so funny. And everyone can place little bets with their Teddy Tokens on who's gonna win. It's only Teddy Tokens, though, don't worry. Uh, you can remove one normal monster from your graveyard. This card gains attack equal to it to the end phase. Okay, whatever. I can just beat over it. Hmm... I want to go all in. Not yet. Let's just do that. Sounds like fun, yeah. Not to mention, I kind of wanted an excuse to do one-off streams of some of the 3D Mortal Kombat's, because I never got to play those, and I have been watching some videos about them. Let me see. The only one I really got to play was, like, the one that was on the Wii, Armageddon, that had, like, all the characters in it. Okay, no, we're not going to blow ourselves up here. Come on, you can do this. Play your rat. No special summon? I guess he does want to bring that up. Excellent. Okay, there we go. And it's banished. Excellent. Posture check. Don't worry, I'm doing that. There's a Mugen mod for everything now. There's ones that got, like, Goku, Ryu, all mixed together. 
I maybe I could look into having someone make a custom pack for me that doesn't have like copyrighted music or something. Um Is it safe? I don't know. I kinda wanna go for it, but if they flip up mirror force. Mm. I'm gonna use one of these. Do that. <laughs> Wouldn't be enough to kill anyway. I'm just gonna do it. Flip up Mirror Force and I'll hate you. Let's do this. Ring of Destruction wouldn't even finish him off. Well, okay, it looks like it was safe. Oh well, let's do it. Nightmare Steel Cage. Well, that's annoying. No, I don't want to flip up the ring. Let's see if Hassleberry does it. He keeps shuffling his cards in his hands. Is he doing something? Oh no, he has Respect Play active. That's why, duh. Silly me. Is there any, like, genuine question, is there any combo you can do with Respect Play? Each turns, they must show their opponent their hand. Like, is there some kind of effect that benefits when um, your opponent can see something in your hand? I don't know. I don't think there is, but it would be so funny if something like this would, um, <laughs> would come into play here. Yeah, but the problem with this card is that each player has to show each other's hands. If you could just see your opponent's hand, then it would be good, but having to show yours is really, really bad. And not worth it. Maybe for one of the quiz cards. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, there's like a combo you can do. There's a card that like, like, it's called like quiz, and I think you have to guess what card is on the top of your deck. So if you flip the, your deck upside down with that one weird card, it basically becomes free. Anyways, let's do this. All right. I'm going to go for the overkill. Get dinoed. Get beamed. Except we can't because Steel Cage. I kind of forgot that was there, to be honest. I was so distracted by respect play. Oh, here we go. Come on, Hasselberry, you can do it. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. We didn't have to take that damage, Hasselberry. We didn't have to, okay? We didn't have to. Oh, we won, but we didn't have to. You got me. You win this time. Don't worry, I'm doing a little stretch. No, there will not be a redeem to make the VTuber wear jorts. Unless I'm giving lots of money for it. You want to pay for the jorts model? Be my guest. Okay, it's only these guys here. Store is closed. Let's check out the main gate. Solar Assault. Now we all have all the red slifer chumps here. Anyone else around here? Maybe? No, just these guys. You know what? Fine, we'll do you. Bone Tower. Paying for the redeem. There should be a redeem to hold a teddy bear. That'll be cute. Excellent. Yeah, that's a good question. Hang on. If um, a card effect specifies you have to reveal your hand or something in your hand, what happens if respect play is active? Uh, does it just skip that? Or does it cause a technical loop due to the wording? <laughs> okay. The effect just gets negated. You can't reveal a card that's currently being shown. Okay. Guess that makes sense. Oh no, if I use Gillosaurus, he gets a free Skull Servant. That's a risk, risky play there. Maybe I should go for it. Maybe I should go for it. 
What do you think of the odds of him having uh, mirror forces? The answer is probably yes. However, if I pull this off, it'll be really freaking funny. And that's why I should do it. Mm, could tribute two, or I could just trade one for more damage here and go for piercing. Die. Oh, wow, he didn't have anything. Oh, never mind. Uh, sure. No, stop it. Don't bring it back. What will I do? Whatever shall we do, chat? Oh. Oh no, you killed the monster you brought back. Don't do that, Nathan. Anything but that. Oh, here we go. Bro, he's really wants that skull serpent on the field. <laughs> didn't help him. This clip right here should be the ultimate example of why Skull Serpent can't win. Wow. That was funny. He really, really wanted Skull Serpent there. And it just did not work. It did not work, chat. Alright. That wasn't much fun. Gee, I wonder why. Nice. Truesdale, that sandwich. What? Where am I? I'm gonna sleep. Why do you talk about Truesdale? Rise and shine, Asprey. Come on out of your bunker. Let's get mo let's move out. All right, let's do it. Okay. I wonder if I can find the cat in the kitchen or something. Jesse and the Chaz, free experience. Do you think they have a contest to uh, find out which of them can brick their back row f the most? <laughs> Chaz, why'd you play frontline base? Why did you put a crystal beast back there? Let's do it. Go VWXYZ. Go away more like it. <laughs> Let's do it. Destroyer Saurus. Destroyer Saurus grows a whole jungle. Jungle. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? I like flubbing my words. It doesn't destroy. It summons a whole jungle to the field. Amazing. It's kind of like um, what's the one? Uh, Captain Gold for Elemental Heroes. Wow, he really set the field up there, didn't he? And he's got 2,600 on that. That's cool. Wow, we're actually kind of screwed. Pretty bad. Uh, this won't give me enough to beat over him. That's a pretty strong first turn, not gonna lie. I, I'm actually pretty... <laughs> yeah, I can't do nothing. Wow. Uh, this is kind of useless. I'll set it and pray Hassleberry can do something with it. Um... I guess I'll just set this for now. Dang. Oh, Chaz putting the frontline base down. And he didn't special summon with it. Ow. What are you doing? He got rid of United We Stand. Oh my god. Oh, chat, we're free. We're free. You can look through your opponent's deck. Don't worry, I've seen it before. It's not anything impressive. Can we win, Tennies? Can we win? You know what we need for moments like these? We need a dual bear. Hang on, what bear do I have active right now? Oh, I got the lore teddy. Look how excited it is. Oh, did we lose? Oh, that sucks. Well, that's not my fault. I had one turn and there was nothing I could do. Hang on. There's a lore teddy. And there's a teddy toll. You want to pass the toll bridge? You better pay up your cookies, mister. 
Sadly, Teddy Ursa cannot be my VTuber model. Legal reasons have made that the case. And we can also duel like a Teddy. Look at that. <clears throat> Ouch. Pardon me. When you want to get your game on, you throw your Teddy in the corner. Look, he wants to duel. He's ready. He's free. Okay, I can stop playing with the bears and go back to the game. But bears are fun. You better believe we will spam bears till the end of time. Hee <laughs> hee, how about that? Fun duel. Damn, Hill, they're strong. Oh, no, 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 we're doing that again. We're not letting that stand. Let's go. No, 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 I'm not gonna make a legally distinct Teddy Ursa. No need for that. Chat will probably draw lots of fan art with Teddy Ursas, though. Chat always gives me Teddy Ursa fan art. Because it's very cute. Draw the moon backwards, it's legally distinct enough. Oh, you're right. Teddy Ursa with jorts is legally distinct? Well, then that's just Teddy Ursa as a Digimon. There we go. I make fun of jorts for one episode, and you people never let it die. That's the new big meme now. The jorts. Probably because it's so fun to say. Okay, let's do this. And look how the tables have turned. If I put this down, I can beat over you and summon another Hydro get on. Let me see. 1900. Blast ya. Wait, what? Huh? I didn't proc it? Oh, it didn't go to the graveyard. It went to the back row. That's why. Okay. The effect can't resolve because it didn't go to the graveyard. I always forget about stuff like that. The and goes to the graveyard part of effects, um... Doesn't really matter most of the time. It feels like unneeded, but it does matter in situations like this. He's tributing, summoning, giant true nade. Why? Nail swipe. Hey, what are you doing? Okay. Hassleberry's doing a bit a big brain here. Look at him go. Oh yeah, he's sending him to the shadow realm. Go, Teddy, go. Teddy's win. Dino Teddy's win. Ooh, 681. Ugh, looks like I lost. You're not an ordinary duelist. Okay, nice. What about you two? The storm down the hall? Sure. Dinos are kind of fun. Um... Yeah, I probably could swap in some staples now, too. I feel like I have enough back row removal. I'm just not really drawing it. Maybe I should splash in another dust tornado. I don't know. Because the dragon deck at least had stamping destruction, which was very nice. Even had burn unnecessary burn damage tacked onto it. Hasselberry seems a lot smarter than Chaz. Yes, he does. Okay, Solemn Wishes. Go, Hasselberry, go. Well, you get banished too. How about that, mister? That effect works pretty well for Hammerhead, doesn't it? The tricky. Ooh. Ooh, you can use that card to get Tyranno out like that? Hang on, hang on. Hang on. The problem is, special summoning from the opponent isn't as common as it should be, so this is going to be dead weight if I use it most of the time. Just accept that it'll happen sometimes, and we can have it. Have some fun. Um... 
Let me see. It can vanish with that, but let's put it down. Let's see. Yeah, but special summon's not going to be common enough. Like, you use the tricky. This is, like, the only time I've seen this damn card come out in, like, ten episodes, so... We're not consistently pulling it off. Hasselberry just had a good time there. Alright, let's try this now. We're gonna pop into you. Harpy's brother? I think you mean Sky Scout, mister. Against Jaden, it would be good, but is it really worth just swapping the deck for one duel? You just avoid Jaden. The fact that my partner isn't constantly drawing Ojamas is also nice. Let's go. If I don't flip it, Hassleberry will. Ooh, Golem Sentry. So sorry. What are you doing? Okay, that's fair. Ooh, you're getting beat down by the Tyranno. Five hundred. Garuda the Wind Spirits. Icarus attack. Oh, that's bad. Oh, come on. That's mean. You know what else is mean? Me doing this. There's no restriction on special summoning Black Tyranno, right? Yeah, that's not bad. It's all super cool and powerful and stuff. Still got a normal summon. Let's do it. Welcome, everybody. How y'all doing today? Better be good, or else. <clears throat> Pardon me, jeez. You did it. Pardon me. Hold back my uh, throat there. Let me see. Let's do it. Oh man, looks like I lost. Ha ha ha. Let's duel again sometime. Just say the word. Alright, victory. Let's keep it up. Exiled forever. Aliens. Bring it on, Jaime. Okay. By the way, uh, something I've been meaning to ask, ask today. You remember how I said there's a couple of games I wanted to kind of like replay or have like a salty run back of? Let me see. I was thinking those playthroughs might be a good idea for using, like, the VTuber thing. Specifically so it's a good way to separate from the old playthroughs. <laughs> so it doesn't just muddy all the search results. I don't know. Just trying to think of stuff to do that for. Don't just put it in the middle of everything that's ongoing. Otherwise, people will be pissed. <laughs> there we go. Gotta head out now? Alright, catch you later. No, no, I'm, I'm wording it so pessimistically, aren't I? I don't feel like alienating everybody. I just want to try some new stuff this year. Okay, Otherworld A-Zone is destroyed. Can justify another freaking Digimon World playthrough that way, too. 1800 getting ripped apart. The alien has some huge freaking claws there, doesn't it? Ooh, I'm liking this. He's a reptile, so I can beat over him that way. Um... Hang on a second. This is good. This is good. I'm just hoping that one face down doesn't ruin things. Let's do that. Go into this. Bash you. Now it goes to the graveyard. We activate the effect of Hydro Get On. Those claws aren't just for attracting mates. <laughs> okay. Mr. Krabs reference. There we go. And that worked out pretty well. I don't want to put all my eggs on the field, though. Ring of Destruction will pretty much end them as soon as we're able to. Don't you play the Heavy Storm. Good. Well, then. Wait a second. Does he not... Oh, that's annoying. Oh, you know what I can do? When I can edit Hasselberry's deck, I should give him Hydro Get Ons. That way we can combo off of each other's and flood the field. That would actually really work. Hang on, hang on. 
Well, now we gotta do this. Let's summon you. <clears throat> Pardon me, jeez. And Ring of Destruction to finish him off. This doesn't work. Alien Hunter. Destroys much when they pick up. Okay, there we go. Not yet. Okay, he's not flipping anything. That's good. Activate the effect of Hydro Get On. Teddy's win. Hit him again. Just one second. We did it. Teddy's win, everybody. Teddy's win. Never stood a chance. The aliens went here when the dinosaurs were active. Tisk tisk. I guess I lost, huh? Gotta reconstruct my deck. Heck yeah, soldier. Okay, let me see if the cat's here. Maybe I can find that. If it's not in the red dorm, I don't feel like we're looking for it. Hang on. Can it even appear anywhere else besides the red dorm? I feel like I never see it anywhere. It was always in the same spot in Tag Force 1, so I just did that over and over. The cat would just follow me around and everything would be awesome. This room is packed. Hmm. Dark Magician Girl and Bastion are in here for some reason. I've been streaming for two hours and Twitch didn't notify you. Yep, that sounds like Twitch alright. I don't know why, but Twitch can not seem to notify anybody that the streamer that they are subscribed to and following is streaming. We could try Dueling Bright. Let's do this. Take her on. That's usually why I always make sure uh, there's a Discord ping before I get going. <clears throat> Pardon me. I used to make posts on Twitter, but like any, any kind of notification or post about other websites just gets buried because they don't want you talking about stuff that takes you off the website. It's so stupid. No one really posts Twitter notifications anymore. Excellent. Okay, Hassleberry, let's do it. Deal damage to the opponent. Chain strike. I'm getting beamed. Even that doesn't work anymore. You can't just make the post and then put the link in the in the replies. Let's do it. Dark room of nightmare. Well then. Taking damage there, silly. She's going for the wave motion cannon. Hasselberry knows what's up. He's getting it. And she threw her whole hand away. I know how she works. Okay. Hmm. And beat over you. Actually, you know what I could do? Put Hydro Get on out. Attack into that. Okay. She doesn't usually have Mirror Force. No way she does. But odds are those are probably just desserts or something. I think I might be okay. I'm willing to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. We're gonna risk it all, kids. Yeah, it's fine to do it to this one. Go flip. Get beamed! The root beer dino summons another root beer dino. That's double the root beer. Double the sugar. Double the fun. Finish. Alrighty, that covers that. Um... Yeah, I guess that's all I can do. End turn. Oh wait, I haven't exactly been live two hours. More like an hour 40 minutes. A little closer to that. On recording anyway. No! Got yeah, pop. And now we got attacked. Asselberry, 
Finish it off, please. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Come on. Uh, he's not playing draw cards. I might be better off just going for the attack. She does anything to stop me. I can do something else. Come on, be safe. No! Wait, that's good. You still lose, Bright. You never learned anything. This is why we couldn't be together. She did not have a very bright idea yet again. Get a full art Cleffa card? Well, can't like Cleffas in this channel. I lost that one. You're good. I'll give you that. We did it! Yay. We did it yet again, everybody. Oh, event? Is it just uh, the brothers at the volcano again? It literally is. Why does this one happen so much now? If we win, we get like 5,000 DP, so no reason not to do it. I don't even remember what their deck is for this. <clears throat> Pardon me. Matthew and Craig. Dinos and Great Dinos. Change my name to Ultra Dinos. That's how cool I am. Chat, do you think dinosaurs are awesome? Or have you grown up and, and be became boring? Which is it? Heavy Storm. Well, that sucks the whole jungle. Well, well, well. We can pierce right through that. We can special summon this. Hmm. Do I mad sword beast or do I do this? There's no reason to do that yet, I feel. I'll do this instead. I'm gonna bet it all on that one face down being safe. Take this, and here we go. Please don't flip up Mirror Force. Please don't flip up Mirror Force. Oh! Oh, oh, okay. That's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> you still take a bunch of damage off that, boyo. I was worried it was Mirror Force or something. Or Cylinder. That would have been worse, too. Okay, so far so good. We will end our turn. You grew up and became dinosaurs. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Isn't it kind of wild, yeah, to think about that? Dinosaurs are effectively, like, real dragons. Kind of wild. Also, we're getting killed because of Snatch Deal. What else is new with this game? Hasselberry, I'm begging you to figure this out. Well then. Well then! <laughs> well, there we go. Dinosaurs couldn't breathe fire, though. That we know of. Gosh. 22. Let's do it. Oh, I can try again. I can get that 5,000 DP pretty easily. <laughs> I can't wait for science to try and bring dinosaurs back to life for no reason. That'll be fun. Dinosaurs could breathe fire, but big archaeology doesn't want you to know that. Exactly. Let's do it. Jurassic World. Destroyer Saurus. Chainsaw Insect. Okay. Come on, draw a card, Timmy. Draw a card. He's going for it. What one was that? Is that Final Attack Orders? Oh, gosh, it is. Oh, that's good. Destroyer Saurus could be there. 
Hmm. I wonder if it would... Hang on, actually. Let's see. Ah, I got a plan. Let's do this instead, why don't we? Okay, that works. I gave him a bunch of free stuff, though, to set up for the Gillosaurus. He special summons those. That'll be annoying. Hmm. Stan will just go one at a time first. Ultimate Tyranno coming out. Now, do I buff it with mage power? Of course I will. Oh. Oh. Well, that's mean. <sighs> it blew up before it had a chance to apply the thing. Ah, darn it. Okay, if I special summon, he's gonna get, like, one of his goblin boys on board, and I don't need that right now. It might be best for me to just set this and, uh... And see what Hassleberry does. That put a wrench in my plans there. Yes, it did. Gaia power. Okay. That's good for me, anyway. Machiner sniper. Do I want to stop that? Do I want to stop that at this point? Yes. I'm gonna go for it. I don't want him to have that body to hit me after with, but it's fine. Give me the draw. MST. Damn. Snatch deal it. Snatch deal it. It was Mirror Force. It was Mirror Force. We got him. Come on. You can do this, Hassleberry. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Who cares if they draw a card? Not gonna be enough to finish him, though. He's doing it. I love how Snatch Deal is such a busted, annoying card. Isn't it funny? How it just completely changed his whole damn duel for free. Let's do this. It was Dust Tornado. Why didn't he flip that up and take his monster back? What? Bro, he threw. He had every opportunity and decided not to. Okay, I'm gonna crash these two into each other and see what happens. I need it I need them gone. Okay, we both draw a card now. We got mad sword beast. Ooh, I got protection in case this goes south. Should be fine. Yes, we're fine. Excellent, even. You win. 645, and we're getting 5,000 on that. You're as strong as ever. Nice job. Big points. Did we? Of course it skips class doing that again. I'm never going to get to go to the dungeon. It never wants me to go in there again. I said no to it last time because we just started with Hassleberry and I didn't want to miss that. I wanted to buy cards, but they're not giving me cards. To the store. Thank you, Eat Miru, for the sub. I appreciate it. What are you two doing here? Are these two just chilling around now? Apparently so. Talk. Want some cards? Hang on. Anything new here? I can get Poison of the Old Man from this. Let me buy one. I need two more copies of that. Okay. Soul Taker, Goblin Thief. Oh, there's my other Nimble Mamanga. That could be useful. I have three now. Emergency Provisions, bleh. 
gift card. Blah. Okay, not what I needed. That's okay. Let me see. Would you like a sandwich? What sandwich? I hope you like chestnuts. I don't like this. Oh, come on. I gotta be like that, Hassleberry. Fried noodles? Dinosaurs like those. Tastes great! Okay, that's good. Hard sandwiches or gold sandwiches is all I really care about doing this. Nothing. Curry sandwich? Come on, soldier. You like this. Okay, it looks like he likes a lot of stuff. Fried shrimp. This is dino-licious. I love this stuff. Wow, his heart is going up faster with the normal sandwiches. Oh, boy. Now I don't think I can duel Sadie. Salmon sandwich. Wow, he really, really likes this stuff. Not gonna even need the gold sandwich. Spicy curry. Hmm, not bad. Hydrate, don't mind if I do. Oh, I see a card. Does he like the plain sandwich? I'm pretty sure he wouldn't, right? Ah, oh, I missed it. Does he like tofu? all right. Dried mackerel? Why not? Nice. Come on. I see a card. Oh, come on. Well, that's that. Let's get some more dual points. Each, one of each brother is hanging out here. Let's try them. Duel? Okay. No better practice than the real thing. Just these random, like, uh, business brothers hanging out. Remember when I beat them in a duel last episode and they wanted to recruit me? Whoa, he's good at a card game. Have you ever thought about, like, ruling the world? I wish my skills could be recognized like that in real life. One of these days, chat, someone's gonna pop into the, the chat, see how good I am at Yu-Gi-Oh, and then BAM! World domination, here I come. You'll all see. Especially when I have the VTuber thing. Then they'll know I'm a real professional. 2000. This is a world run by Seto Kaiba, so of course they like those skills. Yeah, maybe, I guess. Maybe. I'm gonna activate this. And I'm gonna grab that. And I got a feeling, chat. I got a good feeling. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna card destruction, because I'm gonna get better cards and s set up my graveyard. Ah, okay. This is actually, this is actually, oh, this is really good. Never mind. I'm fine with this. Summon you. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and make your little summons. I don't care if I'm setting you up for five goofy dragons. Tonight's gonna be a good night. No, no, no. All right, monster destroyed. One root beer dino deserves another root beer dino. And with my effect, I'll summon yet another root beer dino. Let's do it. Summon another one. I don't have another one to play, sadly, so we're just gonna boop into you. He's gonna loop through all of them. Oh, okay, he's stopping at that one. I thought he was gonna go Troop Dragon from there. If he wants to play his five goofy dragons, I've got two friends right here. 
The cylinder and the ring. And those are very scary. Okay, let's do it. You think Dox is gonna ruin the duel? It'd be really funny if he did. Uh, grab a crushed dragon. You can send one face up, continuous spell. You control the graveyard to destroy one monster your opponent controls. Okay, that's annoying. Is he going to... Oops. Magic cylinder. The root beer dino works better when uh, the monster floats, so it's the root beer float strategy. Yes, in fact. Uh, we could finish him off with that, but only when it's the finish. Come on, Hassleberry. Okay, never mind. Hassleberry's just gonna do it. Giant Trunade. Put your dinos down again. The dinos are just going for the throat now. Man, it's really wild how easily these things can just get on the field and smack smack these monsters out. Great. He's playing rats. Giant rats are spooky. The ones in Dark Souls and Elden Ring are, always creep me out because they have like the patchy skin underneath their fur. Ugh. That's a lot of stuff right there. Ha! Quite the crafty opponent. All right, victory. Okay. Now, is that enough hearts for you? Deluge, back to basics. Anyone in here? Ah, let's duel you guys again. That should fill the heart up completely. And then we gotta do the Dark Magician Girl event, which will uh, skip class. I'll have to attack Dark Magician Girl with the dinosaurs. Tag duel. Back to basics. Dinos. Great dinos. Teddy DNA is the name of this team. Gillosaurus. I still maintain that Hasselberry is lying about his backstory. That man does not have a real dinosaur bone in, in his frickin' leg. Because it would be infected to all hell. Even for Yu-Gi-Oh, that, that backstory is too stupid to be real. Hmm. That's an annoying thing right there. Let's do this. Let's do it. Him for 400. And that's all I'll go for right now. Next player's turn. Shallow Grave. Why do you keep giving him that annoying freaking, like, warlord back? I'm tired of that thing. Well, there goes the end of that one. Oboku ruined everything. Hasselberry still hasn't made use of this yet. Hmm. I could play swords, but then I won't have... Damn it, I won't have... I don't have room on the field to make that play, because then swords will take it up. I could just normal summon this at least, but... The back row I'm worried about, but YOLO. I'll just solemn if it works. Do I let it stand? I have swords. I can revive with Call of the Haunted, so... Let him blow up the whole field. Except that one, yeah. Here we go. Ultimate Tyranno. What makes it so ultimate, you may ask? Because it has ultimate in its name. That's all there is to it. Okay, now I'm gonna go to attack, and you're gonna sit there and not do anything about it. Would... Good. Hmm. Turn Endo. If vampires are real in the GX universe, then dino bone surgery isn't that weird. Mm, I don't know about that. 
I don't know about that. Vampires, I can believe. Hassleberry's dumb story? No, no, no. The only thing less believable than Hassleberry's, uh, Hassleberry's story is, uh, reality TV romances. They're all fake, chat. It's all scripted. Or rather, it's all edited to look like it's a lot more movie-like than you think. Do that. I'm gonna go for the attack. If it blows up in my face, it blows up in my face. Everything is edited. Oh, come on. Dang it. Hydro get on would have been perfect here. I'm not gonna pay half my life points to stop scapegoat. It's not worth it. Hmm. Ouch. Some people from Love is Blind are still still married after season one. But uh, everyone after the other seasons dropped like flies. <laughs> oh, really? I was watching a video about that the other day. That show Love is Blind. That's the one where they have people go on a bunch of dates with uh with sitting in separate rooms where they can only hear each other's voices and they have to like get to know each other and propose without ever seeing each other until they actually get married. That just seems like a recipe for disaster. I feel like it's one of those things the entire concept is based around the funny title they came up. I can't imagine that's a very healthy way to start a relationship with somebody. There we go. And I say this as someone who uh, is only giving you my voice for hours at a time all day. <laughs> Just realize the irony of that. The difference is it's not a date. I'm not doing the dating show, Chad. I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, let him have it. Oh, boy. The thing is, Love is Blind will pay for the divorce if you stay together for one year. In season one, the people followed based on interest, but in the following seasons, the couples that get followed are based on who proposes first, adding extra toxicity to it. Ah, okay. People will ask to date you when I have a VTuber model. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> My heartbreaker art starts... A heartbreaker arc starts soon. Let's do this. Now I'm gonna try this. Now hopefully, where he's done with flipping cards up, but I'm gonna do this. VTuber love is blind. Oh, don't even joke about that. That actually does remind me though, chat. Um, I was actually, I was talking about this on the Discord server the other night, but um, I, when I'm like editing or working on thumbnails and stuff, I like to watch these videos that show... Come on. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hang on a second. Hang on. Use defense position. Defense position zero. Whatever. There we go. I watch these videos talking about real... Are you done yet, you little jerk? <laughs> Fine. I'll take the damage. Can I talk now, Mr. Deloge? Here we go. I watch videos covering like uh, ridiculous reality TV stuff because I wouldn't like watch that my watch that stuff myself. And I, last night, I learned about one of the most toxic shows to ever exist. I can't remember the name of it, right? But he, when here's the concept, and you're not going to believe me that this is real when I tell you, but it is actually real. Ah, oh, darn it, Penguin. That sucks. So. They get these couples together, and they take a bunch of couples and a bunch of single people, and they take them to an island with two houses. And the couples separate with each one of each member in each house, right? And the goal of the show is to see how long they can stay before their partner cheats on them. You with me so far? So already, that's probably one of the worst things you've ever heard, right? It gets worse. It gets worse. So all the people that are single are actually actors trying to get the uh, the couples to cheat on each other. So yeah, yeah, it gets even worse. <laughs> and what makes it even... <laughs> what they do after that is they show the couples at certain points deep fake footage of their partner cheating with people in the other house. Like actual deep fake. They make deep fake freaking... Uh, videos of that and they show it to them and they don't tell them it's all fake until the very very end and i'm like this cannot be real that cannot be real 
But no, it's apparently something they did. I don't know how the hell they legally get away with something like that, but that is one of the most messed up things I've ever heard. Yeah. It sounds like it should be illegal. Apparently it's a show in Spain, I think, so... <laughs> Watch them make a US version now after that. But I was watching a video going over that, and I, it was one of the grossest things ever. I think it's even on... I think it's on Netflix, actually. Let me see. <laughs> oh my goodness. Apparently, the couple who wins is at the very... How it's decided is at the very end, you have to decide if the footage you've been shown is fake or not, and whoever gets the most right answers gets, like, 100,000 euros. I'm sorry, but, like, that, you're gonna have to offer me more money if you're putting someone through that garbage. <laughs> like, that's actually gross as hell, isn't it? The entire time I was, like, listening to someone describe this show, and I'm like, that is, like, one of the worst things we as a human, we as a society could have ever come up with. Holy crap. The creator of the show must be some jealous person who's single. Yeah. See, what they would do is the single people who are actors, like, would put themselves in situations where the, where the cameras can record them and use the deepfake to, uh, put the other people's faces on top of them. That's, that's what they were doing with that. That's how they managed to set it up. Ugh, it's so, so gross. Sorry, I'm distracted during this duel because I just had to tell people how stupid this show is. The lobster? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let me see. No, not 10,000 euros. It was 100,000, I'm pretty sure. Uh-oh, he's summoning the Tyranno. Well then, we win, finally. Oh boy, 918, that's a lot of duels right there. Man, talk about top decking, let's see you try that again. Okay, no more hearts for Hassleberry, so we can do event one with him. Oh, is it at the cliff? We can do it. Dark Magician Girl, right? All right, we can just mash through this. I've read this one like five times already. He was asking for me. There we go. Dark Magician Girl, good luck. No one in chat will cheer on Dark Magician Girl. They're here to cheer for me, the Teddy Overlord. Let's do it. I... I didn't really watch reality TV when I was, like, a kid or teenager, but, like, whenever I hear about it now, I feel like it's got so much worse. So, so, so much worse. Excellent. Perfect. Come on. Um, not worth using that for one card, so I'll just activate this. Did you just cheer Dark Magician Girl? I'm about to hand out some bands in a second. In my own stream. How could you? Okay, I'm gonna put the Hydro Get on down. I'm gonna set Mirror Force. Don't tell Dark Magician Girl I did that, though. Always thought reality TV was the kind of thing that exists to point and laugh at, but they keep making new ones. Yeah. People kind of just, it's one of those things, people just don't care. They just, like, consume it over and over and over, and they just keep pumping that crap out. Excellent. Let's do it! End phase. Okay, that's a tie right there. So in that case, I'll go ahead and do this. We'll go into battle mode. Hit him right here. Perfect. A lot of those reality TV shows are like dating shows, though. Like, and none of those, pe almost none of those people stay together, right? Well, you said er cringe send earlier. It was like uh, early seasons, maybe, but producers got to put that drama in there, so it's always cringy. Okay, we'll end turn. I think she bricked again. Holy crap.
Um, I guess I can just go for the piercing damage. Why not? We can use mage power as well, because why the heck not? Why shouldn't we ruin her life? Big boy damage incoming. The Hex Sealed Fusion. Wow, she really was out of crap. She also has a loaded extra deck, but I never really see her use it. 533. Not bad. I lost again. Oopsie whoopsie. And now she's gone forever. And now we should try and pull for the gold sandwich. I don't get any dual points for these ones, do I? What if she's running Dark Flare Knight? <laughs> okay. A Dark Teddy Magician, what would that look like? It would be a little friend, and it'd have, like, that little, like, cone-shaped magician robe. A funny little hat. Let me see. Well, it's nighttime now. Probably get some more dueling in. Maybe check the duel field this hour? It's dark here. Queen Zara, Body Blast, Pippin. Are these really the only chumps here? You two again. Ah, you know what? Why not? They're high level. They'll give a good output of points. Oh, boy. First to go. No, no, chat. Reality TV can kind of creep me out. <laughs> oh, man. Some of these people, I don't... Even, like, setting aside the fact that a lot of it is edited to make people look worse. When you see a lot of those shows, like, what's... The, the big one is, like, 90 Day Fiance, and it's, like, 10 billion spinoffs, right? It, I feel like the producers search out the most... The, like, the most awful people they can possibly find. And they know the relationship's gonna be an absolute train wreck. And then it's just, like, watching people uncomfortably argue. And it's like, that's the show. And it's like, gee whiz, I sure am glad to spend my Saturday evening enjoying this. And it does well! So, I, and I, I can't complain, right? <laughs> I don't know. That's what those shows are. It's like, hey, do you want to watch a bunch of 20, 20 to 30-year-olds uh, argue uncomfortably? Yeah, that's what it is. What do you mean you want a bathroom? I can't afford a bathroom. I thought you loved me enough for that. Actual thing a guy on the show said, by the way. I'm not memeing. A girl was coming across the country to live with him, and he didn't have a bathroom. He had to go outside to an outhouse to it, and he decided to not tell her until she arrived. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you do that, we break it up. Social anxiety simulator. I almost clicked the tomato. I'm going for it. You can't stop me. He's going to play his tomato. I'm going to use the hammerhead. Let's do it. Excellent. I'm sure y you watched that show, right? Cringe. Um... You probably know a lot more worse examples than I do about people in that show. I just kind of passively see stuff. Oh, he's got two rolls now. He's going to ruin me. Um, Maybe I should put down swords as a target instead. I'm going to do that. All right. Cringing so hard. Four. Nice, I draw a card. He's going for it. Damn. He's going for it. Oh, he got it. He's gambling. Oh, boy. Well, I'm getting... I'm eating crap for this, clearly. When you fight the gambler, it's a gambler. Shallow Grave. Here comes Hyper Hammerhead. Or... Yeah, I just called that. I thought I called it something else for a second. There we go. Dangerous Machine Type 6. He's going for it. Okay, good. He lost. Snipe Hunter. Dude. Free Destruction. 
Yeah, we lose. Man, he got all the rolls. There's nothing I could really do to stop that. And we lost Hassleberry. I love how the Roulette Barrel card is changed, has its colors obviously changed because it needs to look like a toy. The Swan was probably the most life-ruining reality show ever produced. I'm not familiar with that one. What is it? Sam Hill, they're strong. Well, that's good enough for me. Always vanilla. Revolution. Hey, you know what? Let's get our 10th win on you. You're only level 1, but whatever. Let's just get some easy points. What happens? Uh, the gambler effects went off like 90% of the time. I think he only missed like one dice roll. Every single one of them destroyed everything I had, so I couldn't really do anything. He cheesed me. Lex Stegosaurus, Dust Tornado. Okay, he's gonna go for it, nice. I lost due to RNG. Can you believe it? Absolutely outplayed. Okay, there's nothing in their graveyard, so I could probably just special this summon this for free. Play Jurassic World, use Hydro, get on to beat over you to get the free summon, and you're getting beat down, aren't you? Nice. Jurassic World. Excellent. It's nice to be able to use Hydro Get On again. It's pretty nice. Just summoning a free Beat Stick, especially when it's already buffed by our field spell. I don't remember what I played for Hydro Get On. D Wait, was I partnering with Bastion because he had it? I think that may have been it. I wasn't playing like pure dinos because no one played it. Now there's dinos because Hassleberry's a character. And I guess I'll just throw down a Solemn, because why not? Okay, he's summoning that thing, no problem. Excellent. Nah, we don't need to stop him. Hassleberry, if you don't win this turn, I swear. If you get, like, spooked by the respect play... Oh, wow, good. He did it. Amazing. Four seventy-four. Sick. You got me. I need some gold sandwiches, but I need to go to bed. Wednesday, day three. Rise and shine. What is that dino bone around his neck? Uh, for the, are, are you talking about the swan? Hang on. Each episode of the series followed two self-proclaimed ugly ducklings who, over the course of a three-month period, experienced an extreme makeover from a team that included a personal trainer, therapist, dentist, cosmetic surgeons... Okay, it's one of those shows where they get an ugly person and make them feel bad for not- <laughs> make them feel bad about it. And then it just doesn't work out at the end because it's reality TV. Ugh. Let me see. I'm trying to think for a second. Let me just check for the cat in the kitchen here. No, the cat's not there. That's the case. I'm gonna go to the store and see if we can get a gold sandwich. Let's do it. There was another one that was brought up on the Discord last night. Um, does anyone remember the moment of truth? That one was terrible and they had to cancel it after a bit. They basically put a person through a lie detector test, asking them a whole lot of like weird personal questions or weird questions that set them up to sound like an asshole. And they would be forced to, like, go over the results with their friends and family watching. And apparently the show was so mean-spirited that the host actually quit because he did he couldn't stand what the producers were doing to people. There we go. Any gold sandwich? Nope. Thank you. 
horrible. Aren't lie detectors bullcrap anyway? Yeah, but the results get you money if you told the truth. And it detected it, right? There we go. There we go. Yes. Okay, he's getting more. 500. No gold sandwich still. Damn. Rice ball. Mm, not bad. See, the show would always ask weird questions. Oh, yeah. If you sign a contract and are paid at the end, basically. A lot of those contracts, though, are pretty scummy to trick, trick you, though. But um, the thing that always gets me about that that show with the lie detector test is um, it doesn't matter who you are. It, like what they do apparently the process of it is they'll ask you something like, "Hey, do you, do you did you cheat on your partner or something like that?" And if the person's telling the truth about not doing that, it, what what they'll instead do for the uh, broadcast is they'll ask them a question like, "Have you ever thought about it?" Have you ever... What about this... Who's your favorite celebrity that's really attractive? Have you ever thought about cheating with them if you could get away with it? <laughs> like, really weird, specific stuff that, like... A person's just gonna, like, panic answer. And they're gonna look like an asshole, you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm describing it the best, but... <laughs> also, your husband slash boyfriend has to be watching while, while you answer. <laughs> if you were single, would you think about cheating? I don't know. Oh, gold. Got it. Nice. Alrighty. Thank you. Give the golden egg to your partner. Dinolicious. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, we have to do the next event. Is it going to skip class again? It probably is. Dude, I'm never going to get to go to the dungeon now. We're doing too good. Time to report to class. Yeah, let's go. I want to get some experience points. And I want to... We've been doing this for almost two and a half hours, so... Uh, no. Visitor from the Abyss. Aim low. I'm at floor one again. I want to pick up cards. So I already saved the dinosaur deck, and I haven't made any edits to it, so... Let's do this. Load recipe... Time to become a hero, chat. A dungeon hero. Let's do it. At floor one, we should breeze by quickly. It'd be nice if I could get more harpy cards from this, or any other random cards that are in the pool. We'll give it a shot. God, it's probably been a total of like five-ish hours playthrough-wise since I got to do this again. I stopped after I lost once, but it's experience. It'll unlock stuff. Excellent. You know what they do with the lie detector test? It's like, who, who's your waifu? Who's your waifu? Would you cheat on your waifu? <laughs> Ask cringy stuff like that. Okay, hang on. Let me track it for a second. Go down this way. Go down that way. One chest. Yeah, sure. Excellent. Like, I remember one question they, some, they asked someone on that show... Like, again, to set you up to feel like a- look like a bad person. Just something like, like, oh, if you suddenly got a bunch of money, how much of it would you give- want to immediately give to a homeless person? And it's just like, you know, most people- that's not gonna, like, cross their mind, right? But- so obviously, you know, they're not gonna lo when they tell the truth about that, they're just gonna look like an ass, you know what I mean? That's the point I'm getting at. <laughs> there you go. Would you rather punch a puppy or kick a puppy? <laughs> Basically, that's what they'd ask you. <laughs> wow, I can't believe she'd do that, says the audience. Hmm. There we go. Chat, we should ask positive questions. Hang on a second. Only an orange gem now, huh? Okay. Okay, that's a lot of chests right there. Sure, so we'll do this. Excellent. Chat, would you rather hug a teddy or give a teddy a cookie? Which one would you like to do? Hug a cleffa? How dare you. 
Imagine how they'd also edit it for TV too, so the response couldn't even be for the question they asked. Oh, that would be that would be evil. Wow. Can't imagine them doing that. Also, I'm gonna FTK with Sparks. Eat a teddy. Why would you eat the bears? Don't eat bears. They're not delicious. They're friendly. They're huggable. Show that you care. Hug a little bear. Would I bop a teddy in self-defense? I have to do that in Purity Forest all the time. This is nothing new. <laughs> Bears are friends on this channel. Oh, wow, you have a ton of life points because of that thing. I didn't realize. Whatever. Would hug the teddy so you can eat the cookie yourself. That's a greedy answer right there. I hope they give good XP. Let's see how far we can go, kids. I got a ladder. I want a card, though. Well, I'll put down Volcanic Slicer, and we will activate its effect. You wouldn't download a cookie. I think I would. You wouldn't download a teddy. Nah, that's no lie, we all would. Cyber bears. They're everywhere. Imagine Teddy Ursa on one of those reality TV shows. Now that would make it entertaining. Imagine Teddy Ursa on the lie detector test, and he's just like, Ursa, Teddy Ursa, and, and to everything. And you can't understand what the hell he's saying. And it would just be very cute. <laughs> I do not think bears are delicious. I have never eaten bears. And I have no plans to. Sparks. You win. Gummy bears. Those are actual bears. Come on. Come on. Gummy bears are candies in the shape of a bear. Like having a teddy or a cookie. Yeah, sure. This path works. There we go. Had to step out. What are we talking about? Gummy bears are not actual teddy bears. I'll have you all know. I've never eaten a bear. I don't want to. Got a red gem thing. Well, this is going easily. <laughs> this is going by quickly. Can I hit level 40, please? Can't open the menu here, so... Flying Saucer Music Eye. Isn't that one of the alien cards? Pretty sure it is. Got blue gems. I lost all those before, but it doesn't matter. They've got all these cards, but the can they stop me? It is an alien card, one of the worst searchers ever printed. Excellent. Now, chat, if you watch those reality shows, that's fine. Because I'm 99% sure most of y'all would just watch them as random background noise. Watching them obsessively, thinking about how the characters are going, though, like actually getting invested, I can't imagine that. Go down. There we go. Hang on. Go this way. Let's do this. Let me go up here. I think that was the right one. <laughs> Let's do it. No, no, no. Don't mess with the moose. If you're ever, ever up in Canada, leave those things alone. Those things are demons. Probably scarier than bears. I win! Aliens have a search trap that has a life point penalty for failing to find a target, which I'm not sure you can even legally activate anymore. Really? 
How does that work? That's weird. Mooses are larger than cars. Are they really? I know those things are huge, but it's hard to imagine them being that size. You hit a moose with your car, the moose is more likely to have less damage than the car. I don't see a lot of these things IRL. Whoa, I got another piece of Exodia. <laughs> Too bad I literally do not need it. Excellent. It happened to your friend, they hit a moose with a car. Ooh. I heard you're never supposed to give them food as well, because if you give a moose food, it will um, attack the next humans it sees because it expects food. Let's do this. Now we're gonna do this. Then we'll just end on burning land, I guess. Because I don't want a tremendous fire myself. Actually, I gain life points. There's no reason for me not to do that. <laughs> oh well. Enemy level win. Moses are friends from very, very far away. Goggle Golem. Vengeful Bog Spirit. We didn't play the Granadora, so we do this. Granadora or just Granola. I think I called it that in Duel Academy. Card. Patroid. Patroid? Oh, Patroloid, basically. Uh, one of the Roid cards, I see. Deer are very small, yes. Well, not tiny, but I I've seen deer wander onto the street a few times. Especially in the winter, they get confused over where the hell they are. And the snow makes everything blend together to them. Let's go. It's cute when you see them walking through the neighborhoods, but it's probably dangerous for them. It's like, get away from here. There's humans. That's like the scariest thing on this planet. Okay. I'm gonna just do this. I get a chest and an extra battle out of it. Dark Room of Nightmare. Okay. Inspection. You don't have 500 life points, bro. You don't have 800 life points either. What is your game plan here? Good golly. I don't think I've been to a zoo for since, like, elementary school, to be honest. There's a lot of animals that are probably, like, much larger than my brain remembers them. Because, you know, you only see them on, like, TV and stuff. Then you see them in real life and you're like, oh, they are kind of gigantic, aren't, aren't they? I guess I always imagine moose as, uh, being, like, medium-sized, not gigantic. Let's go. We're very tiny compared to a lot of things out there. Saw a kangaroo before. They're about what I expected. <laughs> I'm just imagine. Sorry, I'm just imagining someone looking at a kangaroo being like, damn, that's not that impressive. And the kangaroo's like, all right, all right, bro. Didn't ask. Maybe the kangaroo isn't impressed by you either. You ever think about that? Let's go. They're not afraid to square up. Sometimes I have to remind myself that kangaroos actually don't have boxing gloves on. Like they do in all the cartoons and video games. There we go. Like my dumbass brain thinks of a kangaroo and then I imagine the boxing gloves and I'm like, wait a second, that's not natural. <laughs> By road sacrifice. Just imagine the one from Tekken. I don't play Tekken. I, I went over that earlier. There we go. Get sparked. Get beamed. 
Too bad we can't attack with Jerry Beans, man. Then we could actually be in the opponent. Ricky and Zelda. Yeah. Oh. Well, I didn't pay attention where I was heading. That doesn't matter too much. I got 40 experience doing that? Wow. That's pretty decent. That's why I wanted to pop in there. Let's head out. Okay, new event over here, but I have my bad deck set up, huh? I can go elsewhere first and change it. Let's do that. It's your dorm. Here's my home. Hang on. Let's go back to the dino one. Tekken also has bears that fight people. I hear the bear isn't very good, though. Load recipe. Welcome back. How you doing? Don't worry, we're just talking about eating bears and reality TV and, uh... Uh, kangaroos? What the hell were we talking about a second ago? Something. Chat, sometimes I think when I talk about random topics, I just scare the audience away. <laughs> sometimes I think, wow, people like will like be watching like my softlock videos. They're like, oh, this guy streams? And then they pop in and I'm talking about eating bears. And then, damn, viewers gone forever. Oh, gee whiz. I wonder what's going to happen here. Excellent. Eating gummy bears is better, though. This is why I should talk about the jorts instead. He's going to duel them. No crying for help, mister. All right, finally. Prowler can be annoying because of his, uh, his cards not letting you activate stuff during the battle phase. He has good stuff. Okay, not bad. Um... Maybe I should save this for when he tribute summons. Hmm. I want to save Hydro Get On, maybe. So maybe I should just open with this and then make him... You no, know, maybe if I use Swords, I can make him play defensively so I can beat over it next turn. I think I'll try that. Because I don't want him playing something that can beat over Hydro Get On. Ancient Gear Castle. Okay, that thing, that's what he's doing. He didn't even draw a monster. Wow. I'm gonna use MST and get rid of that castle so we can't cheese out a monster with it. But I am, of course, worried about what he's gonna do. Because he's packing Mirror Force and Cylinder, I'm pretty sure. So let's do this. Let's do it. Widespread Ruin. Okay, Bootleg Mirror Force, whatever. Damage has been done. Good enough for me. He still doesn't have a back row. Well, I'm going at it. Or sorry, he doesn't have a monster on the field. I said back row for some reason. Hmm. Oh, you little jerk. I'm still winning. <laughs> I'm still winning. Heavy storm, please. Darn. Well. I'm going for it. You got battle traps? Flip them up then, my boy. Flip them up. You got no monsters. Fourteen. Hundred. He's going for the destiny draw. He knows what he's doing. Mage power. Hmm. He already used his ring. 
He's probably gonna flip up another damn widespread ruin, so I'm just gonna go for it. Did he really just not draw a single monster this entire duel? That's some bad shuffling right there, my dude. Yeah, there it is. He finally found his mirror force. <laughs> he bricked again! Bro! What is this duel? This is pathetic. I'm scared. Yeah, do I want to use this? Surely he's out of ways to stop me now, right? Surely. Here comes the Sakuretsu. Aha! Okay, good. We got him. <laughs> that was silly. Not a single monster he could get. Impossible. How could I lose? Because you're a loser. We're moving pretty fast here. This is going okay. The store is closed. Check out the duel field. Let's get some dino dueling in with Hasselberry. Put you two. Queen's era. You two again. Why are you all in the same damn spot again? You're supposed to move around more. Okay, then. It's Thursday. Hello, friend. Welcome to the stream. Let's go, Hassleberry. I feel like I could edit the dino deck now, but it's working just fine. Uh, is that Hose? No, it's Jorg. Dead end. And Nova! You know what? Let's take him on. We can do it. Seems like running Jurassic World as much as I have has been working okay, because we need that field spell pretty badly. The Legends. I've only lost to him, like, several times. So hopefully we can do it. I don't want to fight the Corporate Dragons guy again. Those two together were a nightmare, but they're separated now. I beat one of them earlier. Well then. So we can't declare an attack now. That's fantastic. He lost his Dust Tornadoes. Well, here we go. Is he really attacking with that? I can't declare an attack now because he put down Gravekeeper with um, Macrocosmos. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, no. Hmm. Hmm. I could set this or leave it in attack mode because if he wants to attack into it, he's going to have to pay the price. All right, then we'll do this. See, because Gravekeeper says, unless you send one card from the top of their deck to the graveyard, he, she cannot declare an attack. And this makes it so it doesn't go to the graveyard. It, it gets banished instead, so you can't resolve the effect of this, which is really annoying. So he's got me locked down, unable to do attacks. All right, let's do it. We need a heavy storm pretty badly. Okay, they can't do anything. Is he gonna burn the ring right away? Of course he is. On the goblins. We could really- I need Hassleberry to set up the tail swipe. No, no! He doesn't know how to use it! Chat, he doesn't know how to use it! it no! It's true, isn't it? Oh, this- at least I can use it. That's something, but, um, I need to- s wait a second. It's an attack in the battle phase, you must attack all monsters. I can attack- hang on a second, how does this work? I'm not allowed to attack because of Gravekeepers, so I guess it can't. He doesn't understand how the card works, uh... It's like frontline base with Chaz all over again. Please tell me. Please tell me that this isn't, um, stuck in his deck once I can edit it. 
I'm hoping that, like, this is something I'm allowed to take out. Because he literally, he, his, um, his AI doesn't know how to use it, so we need to take it out and replace it. It's just dead weight in his hand, unless, I mean, I can use it because I'm playing dinos, but it's just going to be a brick with him, right? It's better that he doesn't have run this at three at all. Okay. Can't attack with it. Well, I guess we move on. The modern translation for effects like this is must attack if able. So being unable is the final say. Okay, I understand now. Also, everything's gone. Has morphing jar. Yeah. Odd. Hmm. Well, I hope Hassleberry has a plan for this because I sure as hell don't. I was hoping he, I could leave him ultra, ultra, sorry, ultimate Tyranno so he could use Tail Swipe. That would only slow down for one turn. Wait, wait, he's using it? Why the hell didn't he do it last turn? Okay, then. N now he is using it. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know why the hell he didn't do it those last few times, then. Oh, there goes that. Maybe he only... Wait a second. Do you think he only checks if the monster can be summoned if he has the tribute cost for them anyway? That's gotta be it. Like, he didn't even... He didn't even consider, um, Tyran... He wanted to play t Ultimate Tyranno because he was prepared to tribute it. The fact that the, uh... The fact that he paid no tributes wasn't part of his plan. It was an accident. That's what happened, yeah. God damn it. Oh, great. Okay. Hmm. So he can sort of use it, but not on purpose. I, I get it. Once again, I can't do anything, which is kind of lame. I need, I need to draw my Heavy Storm and just get rid of the Gravekeeper Servant in Macrocosmos. One of the two. Oh, that's funny. Figuring out how this silly Yu-Gi-Oh game works. He blowed to the field. Oh, here we go. Get booped. Heavy Storm. Oh, I really need Heavy Storm. I really, really need Heavy Storm. But for now, we'll do this. Just because we can. Go ahead. I don't even care. 500. 5... 1,000. Now we lose a bunch of cards. 500. 5,000? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, chat, we might be in a little bit of trouble, not gonna lie. Uh, a little bit of, a little bit of an oopsie-whoopsie here that could be rectified if we could just draw a goddamn heavy storm. Oh, oh boy. It doesn't look like that ultra, uh, big evolution pill is, uh, one of his favorite cards. Okay. Maybe I could keep one in his deck, but it's not reliable enough. There goes Twister. Oh my god, I hate this. Come on. This is what happens when you don't draw the out, chat. You sit there. And wait. 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 Well, I have this, but, uh, no point. What do? What do I even do now? Eh. I need to draw the out. That's what I do. Did Heavy Storm get banished? I didn't even think to check my uh, deck for that. To be honest, I should. 
Oh, we are getting so bodied right now because none of us drew our back row removal. Oh, okay. Please? Oh, no. No. I didn't see an out in there. He's gonna deck us out at this point. No, not that. That was Hassleberries. Gi oh, okay. There was an MST and a giant true nade, but MST was more important. Come on. We still have... Oh, all of Hassleberry's dust tornadoes got destroyed because of Nobleman of Extermination. Right. So Hassleberry doesn't have anything except Heavy Storm left. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What's happening? Those back row are preventing me from attacking. Oh. Now he has multiple ones. Come on, Hassleberry. We gotta do it. He can't even play any cards. Oh, never mind. He can do that. Oh, that sucks. <sighs> Just draw the out, bro. Come on. Destroyed. Oh, there it is. Well... Maybe I should just put my big beat stick down board so we can't beat it. I don't even care about the big evolution pill. I'm just doing this. Because I need to draw the freaking out. How many, how, how much life points can he get? How many? Hmm? How many? Nothing from the graveyard to bring back. He's just going to beat this. We can special summon it in defense mode. Now we wait! <laughs> this is so silly. I need Heavy Storm so badly. He attacked me with Needleworm, the little jerk. <laughs> no, don't, don't. Okay, good. There's no targets in the graveyard. Everything's vanished. Oh my goodness. Please. If I summon something, it's just gonna get killed now. Hmm. I could just put this in normal. Uh, hang on, actually, yeah. Let's do this. Just so I can get the big, big beat sticks on board, maybe. Oh boy. If we get Heavy Storm, we could probably just, like, charge through his whole deck and just slaughter everything. I'm preparing for that. I'm preparing. I'm not allowed to attack, though, because the ruling. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't. We're getting decked out faster. Oh, he drew Heavy Storm! Come on, Hassleberry! He has it for, he has it for his next turn. We can do this. We can do this. Card destruction? Don't mind if I do. Um wait, I could deck him out with card destruction as well. Yes. What if I just do that? What if I just do that? Go on, get some life points, bro. I drew one card. I might have to tech him out first. Will that happen in the order of events, though? I don't know. Hasselberry's about to play it, everyone. He's about to play it. Let's see. Can, do you think we can get rid of these life points? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Forty-one banished cards, everybody. No. Yes. 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 Kill everybody. Post bears cheering for blood. Cheer bears, let's go. Kill, 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 kill. Blood for the teddies. 
when I do those Mortal Kombat streams, I am at. I hope you all spam cheering Teddy Ursas when. Oh, really, Spirit Reaper? I hope you post cheering Teddy Ursas when we. Oh, give me a break. When we go for fatalities, that'd be funny. We lose. We lose. Snatch deal, everybody. We got outskilled. We got outsnatched here. <laughs> what a lame way to lose. Come on. After all that, he just snatch deals ultimate Tyranno. The jerk. This is why I have lots of losses on this guy, because he sucks. I hate him. I've blown you over. Use your passion. Use your passion. Get out of my face, you dork. I'm dealing with that again. That's some crap right there. You two are hanging out here. How about the Chaz's room? Who's in here? Heaps I don't usually see. Limited fun. Enter the gate. Let's try it. Tag duel. Let's have some fun, everybody. <laughs> that was one of the worst duels ever. I did want to make a deck out strategy sometime with Chainsaw Insect and Bistro Butcher, but I don't know if you can really tag duel with that. Start duel. Oh, look, Heavy Storm right away. Jurassic World. Let's go. We're memeing. We're scheming. Swords revealing light, huh? Okay. Hmm. Nothing in the graveyard, so no reason to not just summon this. I don't want to set Mirror Force, because I think Hasselberry's going to play his Heavy Storm next. I'm getting these ready for when he wants to go in the offensive, but it's Hasselberry's move now. Let's do it. Oh, he's absolutely going to play it now. Oh, I saw Cylinder, MST. Damn, she had everything down there. Okay, nice. Uh, we can't summon another Hydro Get on, though, because the field is full. Oh, damn it. No, the rat has 1450. We can't kill it. Blocked by rats. Oh, well, here's a solution. The field is full. I can't put down Mad Sword Beast, but we can just, like, beat over everything now. If she has Mirror Force, I'm gonna... I'm gonna lose my mind. Summon it. Oh, look, another rat. Chat, I'm gonna attack this rat. 100, 100 points of damage. Oh, look, another rat. Now I'm gonna attack it again. See what happens. Last rat defeated. And now you have Nimble Mamanga. Of course you do. The dinosaurs are gonna hunt this forest into extinction. Here we go. Here we go. I can't even summon my other Hydro Get on. Can't look at Hasselberry's deck unless I have four hearts. The menu's not even there until you have the option to edit. Too mad we can't summon more root beers. Exactly. Okay, the partner got their swords on. Well, he's doing this. He really should just play the pill in this situation. Get rid of Gillosaurus. There it is. Cost your check. Have some water. Don't mind if I do. Water is good. Hmm. Beat down. Time for a beat down, Teddy style. I always forget how many people we normally have here when I play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Goes back to what I said earlier about scaring people away. Excellent. Oh, nice. They wide open. They can't do anything. Oh, we win. Nice. Here we go. We saw just about every monster come out last duel, yeah. And we still lost, because Snatch Deal. 
It's nice that Hassleberry has that in his deck, but I don't have it. Cool. Um, I should check how close I am to a level up. Oh, I lost. Let's duel again sometime. Oh yeah, that is a thing I hear a lot. People tell me I they like when I play the early 2000s nostalgic properties. Okay, level 39, 636 XP to reach next level. I love T-Rex. Really now. Duel her. She's also got dinos. Y'all just love children's card games. It's fun! Fun, everybody! I wonder if Mortal Kombat will give me that early 2000s nostalgia as well. Yeah, it probably could be something. Well, there's that one Mortal Kombat video I made on the other channel that for some reason blew up with millions of views. So probably, actually. Only a little bit of damage, that's okay. And boop, you're gone. Cold wave, no, no, no. Um, call the haunted. One that got destroyed was you. Now, problem is, Jurassic World's gonna buff her monster as well. That's annoying. Very, very annoying. Hmm. I could just crash Sabersaurus into her to get rid of hers. I think I will. Don't do that. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play this. Then, I'm gonna play this. And we're gonna go to the battle phase. I'm gonna crash these two into each other. And I'm gonna bring Sabersaurus back with this. And look at that, now he can attack again. Oh yeah. You like that video? Well, I'm glad, friends. 1,500 damage with this one, too. Hmm. I didn't see what Hassleberry had in his hand. Would it be beneficial to me to... No, he wouldn't activate the, the big evolution pill anyway. What am I saying? We just went over this. Goblin secret men remedy. Oh, no. Anything but that. He's got the goblins. Okay, what's he gonna do? Oh, they're wide open in a second here. Oh, wait, no, this is... Can we... Oh, we can crash into each other. Yeah, that's fine. That's the better... That's the better play, to be honest. I thought that thing had 2,300, but it has 22. Premature burial. It's bringing it back. Damn it. And... Oh, dinoed. Ooh. I could heavy storm and it goes away. Hmm. Let's do this. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Now we're gonna throw it down. Ultimate Tyranno is ready to attack. And it was the Jurassic Egg, okay. I was worried. I thought Hydrogadon wouldn't be able to beat over it anyways, and I was, and I was right. Now, as soon as you go to the battle phase, Ultimate Tyranno has to attack, right? Like, it just has no choice? Let me see. Beginning of the battle phase, first you can and must, if able, attack all monsters in your post field. Okay, okay, I get you. Has to be the first thing you do. What if, um... Hang on a second, I'm curious. What happens if there's two monsters that have, uh, that say that they have to attack first? I lost, I'll have to try harder next time. We did it. Reality implodes. 
Wouldn't shock me. No, I don't mean two copies of the same card. I mean, like, two different monsters with that effect. Do they clash? It's like, what if, like, there's an additional effect on top of them attacking where that becomes relevant? Thank you, Necrodancer, for the sub there. I appreciate it. Oh, hang on a second. It happened in the last duel. Uh, one had to attack, and the other one was just able to attack like normal. Is that what happened? I don't remember. Hang on a second. Let's get some sandwiches. Can we get to three hearts with Hassleberry today? Oh, I see a card. You got Spell Canceler. You got Warrior of Atlantis. Yes, Koala. Far too late for that one. Not bad. Hello, friend. Welcome to the stream. From the Yellow Channel. We were just talking about people popping in. I say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> Ignore me. I was joking about people coming in from the Yellow Channel. And being scared when I talk about eating gummy bears. Or real bears. Yoza? Okay, he's fine with it. Only ones I care about enough to go for is gold and sandwich. Okay, that one's good enough. Oh, he doesn't like the chestnuts. I ate it for no effect whatsoever. Oh, I see it. There we go. Finally, one of these at uh, low heart. Okay, three hearts right there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Bear strength. Lost message. Hang on, what level are you? Five, seven. Yeah, let's try dueling them. Just one. Then I guess we'll go to class and do a little bit of the dungeon again. I'm so close to level 40, and by so close, I mean five more episodes. Because the experience requirement in this game is an absolute nightmare of a grind. I only cheesed the Sadie pack by leaving the game on with speed up for a long enough time. It's the final countdown, everybody. And we got Heavy Storm. Or sorry, uh, Destiny Board spell in final. Jurassic World. And he sent a rat. Sanctuary in the sky. And there it goes. Melee Zelda Temple is here. Well... I don't think I need to Heavy Storm. That'd be, that's unnecessary. Wait, what? Really? Okay, you're gonna shut the whole thing down? Hang on. If that's the case, if I Heavy Storm now, you have, like, nothing left. You just burned your whole hand on that, so... Hmm. I'm gonna do that, and I'm not gonna use Gillosaurus, because they're gonna bring back the Angel and make taking... make killing things take forever. 1400, Sabersaurus. Yeah, we're not gonna special summon for that one. Be too annoying, even if I could get Tyranno on the field. Let me see. Hmm. I'm gonna crash these two into each other. Activate the effect of Giant Rat. Now they're gonna chain. We're gonna summon that thing. Hold up a second. What does this one do? Send this card and one of their fairy much to activate this effect. Okay, that doesn't matter. Um, I guess it's probably best to just summon another hyper hammerhead. That worked out pretty well. The angel ha can recruit a lot more. I don't think the herald one can like loop the same way. 
Okay, after all that, she gave up all her hand to stop nothing. Okay, there's Command Knight, no problem. He's sacrificing that for the Dark Triceratops. Ooh, getting beamed. We don't need to Heavy Storm, it's only one card. Nothing. Oh, hang on a second. Got a hair in my face there. Ugh. Sometimes my long hair just gets in the way, chat. Um, I don't think it's necessary to do that. Save premature burial if things go south. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Okay, now you're gonna summon something. Darn, we can't finish her off this turn now. And traps in 2007, heck yeah. Just a few points left. Oh, she played the F. It's a little too late for that. The F is for her duel right now. She's about to lose. Asselberry's just gonna heavy storm that. It's not even gonna matter. Play it. Play it. Beep boop. Well, that's unfortunate. She couldn't stand up against us here. 771. 12 XP. I lost. You won. That's all I can say. Goodbye. Let's duel again. Alright, victory. Let's keep it up. Okay, now that we've done that... Mm, I already filled up his heart, so I can't buy more sandwiches. Let's get some XP here. I don't think we're even going to hit level 40 next episode. And at the deck, sure thing. Just see if we can pull some cards. I got a piece of Exodia on one of the lower floors last time I was here, so clearly it can be okay. Plus, it's a little bit of a break here to get some stuff. Oopsie. Uh, what am I doing? It's this. It's the top hero one, yeah. Nice. Enter basement. I ask in every episode, yeah, but I never remember what level it is. Is it 40 or 45 everything pops open? Yes, I can't remember. Sure, I'll take the long winding path destroying everything. It is 40? Okay. Maybe I'll remember this time. Excellent. That's all right, though. No worries. We'll get there when we get there. Because a single duel is only giving us, like, 10 to 12 experience points each time. So it's pretty useless. I'm not going to turn on animations, but uh, I just wonder... Do these guys actually have animations if you turn them on? I've never stopped to consider that until now. Um, That's pretty much it. That'd be really annoying to see, wouldn't it? Pretty sure they don't. Okay. Come on, give me cards. I'm here for the trading cards. And the XP by FTK with sparks over and over. We're zip-zooming over here. Excellent. Let's try it. No. I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to leave it a mystery for everyone to ponder for the rest of their lives. Restructor Revolution. Oh. He just hit me with free burn? Bro, you can't do that to me. Bro, what? Wow. Wow. 
He almost turned one burned me. That's never happened before. This is floor six. So, um... I don't know why they're suddenly allowed to do that here. Oh, boy. Trying to wear me down. Based on my level, they'll have stuff like this. Oh, is that how it goes? Okay. Royal Oppression is in the game, yeah. I can't really make use of it, though. Ooh, two chests. Sure, we'll just do this one. Most of the time, I can just win with turn one sparks, so this is best. This whole dungeon is the reason you that sparks is locked behind the Sadie pack. Over 200. They'd survive a Sparks. Still one card, one kill. One turn, one card win. That's something. I want to see what those get here. Yeah, when they made Royal Oppression, it was one of those cards that, like... Special Summoning wasn't really that much of a thing yet. It was very limited to a few cards, so... Having a card that could just negate it was pretty wild, but now it's super banned, right? Because the whole game revolves around special summons. Echo Main King. And Battery. Go down. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. Arsenal Robber. I don't recognize that name. Well, I got some life points back. Nothing that matters. And the odds of a guy just doing that ridiculous strategy, me, strategy to me was pretty wild. One chest, two chest, three chest. Exit. Okay. There we go. Let's go through this. Ultimate Offering was another card that didn't seem like it would ruin the entire game on release. Yeah, that was the one where you pay 500 life points to, um, hold up. 500 life points to do another normal summon. And now that's just, like, super busted. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! was a very different game when it first started. I've said this multiple times on this series, too. Like, when Yu-Gi-Oh! first started, effect monsters were barely a thing. Like, the first packs didn't even have, like, five of them, I think. Let me see. Hit this. Perfect. Old Yu-Gi-Oh! is basically like, did you have the monster with the higher number? Then you win. Because, like, the, the spells and traps were so basic. Very, very basic. Excellent. Come to think of it, early on for Yu-Gi-Oh, like, monster types barely mattered outside of the, um, those very specific equip spells, right? Excellent. Spirit of the Harp. And some field spells, too. Yeah, true. Okay. A lot of chests this way. Sure, we'll do this and leave. This will give us a lot of people to beat and some chests to open. Not really getting any amazing cards. I wish when you open it, though, it would show you what the card is. I don't recognize them all by name. Old Yu-Gi-Oh! was just, do you have Gemini, Elf, and Summon Skull? Yeah. There was no reason to not play Summon Skull in every deck, right? Because it just had, like, the highest stats for one tribute. And nothing else came close to it. And then, like, it was basically just, like, get, um, whatever four-star monster had the highest attack power.
You win. I wonder, for the first, like, yeah, the first Japanese set didn't have a single effect monster. How many spells and traps did it even have? Let me see. Let's do this. There were decks that didn't play tribute monsters at all since they could brick you and were minus one with removal, but yeah, Summon Skull was the best. Oh yeah, Exodia. Exodia had to have been in the first set of, um... Hang on, Exodia was a little later in OCG. Okay, so even the first Japanese set didn't have Exodia? Damn. When Exodia first came out, was it super unviable? Or was it okay because stuff like Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity were there, as along with Sangen? Chaos Sorcerer. Wait a second, isn't that really good? We gotta, like, build a deck around light and dark monsters for that. Exodia's release was actually a huge event in Japan. Okay. That's interesting. Purple gem. Let's do this. Send it out. Send it to the end. I hope I get a good amount of XP for this one. I feel like I slaughtered enough of these guys. Floor 9. 38. That's okay, I guess. 960 dual points. Eh. Almost two sandwiches. And now there's a new overworld event. Oh, this is the one with the gambler again. I'm gonna have to fight him. Okay. Oh, I heard about that one. The promo pack. Uh, the promo pack at the Tokyo Dome, right? I d what, wait, the rele the promo card that everyone wanted that got uh, people injured, It was that Exodia for that? I didn't know it was actually the Exodia release. Okay, let's swap this. Load recipe. I'm gonna go back down to dinos. Yes, there we go. This is working just fine. I don't even need to really edit it yet. People were fighting for the promo car. Yeah, because they did not have enough for uh, release. All right, same thing here. So let's just mash and duel them. You ever wonder how anyone became like a good duelist during Duelist Kingdom? Like they have all these people on Pegasus's island and it's just like, aha, I am a skilled duelist. I have won many tournaments and here's my grand strategy. I summoned a monster in attack mode and I have no spells. Isn't this an impressive move? I own the, the better card. There we go. Come on. Let's duel him. Weevil was the champion of, of Japan. We that's right, Weevil was the champion and his uh tournament winning move was playing basic insect and giving it an equip spell. That's how easy the game used to be. There we go, I need a drink there. Pegasus didn't even need to use his Millennium Eye to cheat in Season 1. I mean, he made the damn game. He should know the meta. It's not that not that ridiculous. You ever think about that? Hmm, with the power of my Millennium Eye, I predict you're gonna play a normal monster. Because I haven't released any good ones yet. Um, looks like that's all I can do. Let's do it. Duelist Kingdom was pay to win. You're totally right. Kaiba was pay to win. 
Ooh, I got blue eyes. Because I bought them. Or I extorted them out of people. Let's do this. I'm worried about those face downs. He's probably gonna have fairy box. It could be a flip, actually. You know what? I'm gonna do this. 1,000. What am I doing? It's 2,000. I can't hit him. My brain just almost autopiloted that. Well, here we go. Blind destruction. The alien support card that uses dies. That's cool. Uh oh. That's not good. Well. Hmm. I guess we're gonna have to send in the ultimate Tyranno. Let's do it. This card is actually pretty nice. I like it. Get rid of you. And now we're gonna normal summon you. Hang on. I have no choice but to attack everyone with this. Oh, you little jerk. I knew that was there. I still have to attack everyone once each. This thing's gonna be the death of me. Okay, good. I got him. Oh, I still had the, I Yeah, I still had to attack with it, though. That's the issue. Even though I'm already at zero. Coin flip or not. Oh, this is super bad. Fairy Box destroys Tyranno, doesn't it? All right. Remember when Bandit Keith lost because Pegasus told a kid to summon a stronger monster than him? Yeah. Oh, Bandit Keith, you're such a dork. And then people died over that. Bandit Keith got killed. Or sent to the Shadow Realm. Oh, well, we got this now. 1200. I guess we're just gonna have to go for it. I'm gonna... You know what? YOLO Tyranno. Let's do it. I can't, because Messenger of Peace, right? Duh. <sighs> oh, this sucks, man. I'm losing this. Airy box is fun. Ooh, he got beamed. He's going to gamble. Ooh, losing your coin tosses, are you, my friend? Heavy storm. Do I go for it? Well, I can anyway. Messenger of Peace, but I'm putting it on the field, because YOLO. As long as he can't attack me, we're pretty much waiting for him to win or lose coin flips, because I can't do anything with Messenger of Peace and Fairy Box there. That's bad. Hang on a second. Due to the wording of Ultimate Tyranno's uh, effect, right? Hang on. Let me, let me read this. Attack. The... Can you skip the battle phase, or do you have to do it? Right? Like, you can't just go right to main phase two. I'm pretty sure. I get rid of that. I don't care. Modern rules say you must enter battle. And never skip it, unless an effect says so, right? Ah, oh, dude. Okay, we're just gonna wait for him to flip coins over and over. That's great. I'm gonna lose to this. Who knew it? Well. I, please, please, please. Oh dear, it's not worth putting you on the field. I need to draw my heavy storm. That's all there is to it. Oh, here we go. Okay, hang on. That's also fine. If I can survive another turn, actually, I might be able to wear him out. Oh, he might lose to this coin flip. If, uh, no. Hmm... Come on. Yes. 
He can't afford to go for it again. Can he? Hang on, I have a chance. Chad, I have a Teddy chance. But now he'll be able to bring that out. No, I should have summoned that first. But Berry Box would lead me to open to an attack, actually, so... Damn it, I still can't take him out. It would have been too unsafe to put Gilosaurus, because if I would have lost the fairy box roll, it'd be all over. What did he get a destiny draw for? Come on. We pay the hang on. He's paying a hundred. Is he paying the five hundred? Oh my god, he's actually doing it. Chat. Mm, no, if I... You don't understand. You can't special summon Gilosaurus without him bringing something back. And if I lose the roll and Fairy Box puts me at zero, then his... Mo whatever he got back will probably be able to hit me for game. If I'm... If I go about it poorly. It's probably better to just, like... Oh, yeah, I could normal summon it. You're right. <laughs> I can normal summon it. I didn't think about that. Oh, darn it. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Never mind, I'm the one that didn't get it. Okay, went to zero. That's the only one that can attack, because it's under 1,500. Come on. Can we do it, Teddies? Can we do it? We should be okay. Let's go to battle phase. No! Wait, what? No! Okay. He flipped it up, but he only has to pay during the standby phase. Come on. Come on. Ah. Well, there goes that turn. Damn it. Oh, thank goodness. You get what you freaking deserve, you little jerk. Get him, boys. Top deck in that. Finish him. Finish him. Blood for the blood bears. Blood for the blood blood moon bear, actually. Because that's a thing now. Only 8 XP for that. Holy moly. I can't believe I won that. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Get out of here, you chump. Well, now that we've done that, store is closed. Any more friends here? Oh, him and Jaden. Can we take down Jaden with beatdown? Yeah, let's try. You want a duel? Why not? Let's see if we can beat Jaden, everybody. What deck would a Teddy play? Probably Teddy Toll. He needs to get that money so we can buy some honey. Okay, we got our field spell. Jaden's doing Jaden things. He's got a Stratos. He's got a Skyscraper. That's a problem for me. Going Gillosaurus. Going Saversaurus. Ooh, Clayman, so sorry. Only we had Jurassic. He's attacking with Clayman? How could you? That's insulting. You're gonna love this. Now then. 
go ahead and go all in with Sabersaurus, why don't we? It should be okay. Playman getting killed. Ooh, hit the arm of my chair here. Milkid the four masked or uh, four faced beast. I thought that was called something else. Well it doesn't matter. Can you imagine if 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 Duel Academy was just filled with Teddy Ursa's dueling all day? I know I'm not shutting up about Teddy Ursa again, you can't stop me. But I'm just saying Teddy with a dual disc is pretty cute. He is very cute. See? Look at it. That bear wants to throw down some face downs. I hope he's playing with sleeves, though, because he's going to get his sticky honey paws all over everything and ruin the cards. Dual bears just want to play games, chat. Look how cute they are. Look how precious. I would teach Teddy how to duel. That'd be fun. I feel like they get lost after the Synchro era, though. Very, very lost. Okay. So he hit the Field Spell. So Field Spells count as continuous? Oh, what? Sorry, one face-up spell card in the field. I see, I see. Never mind. I misread. Could go for Tyranno, but is that even necessary? Hmm. Actually, you know what I will do instead? This. Aha! Even better. Big Dino. And now we're going to do this. Ask Sorcerer. We win. Teddy's win. Ring of Destruction. Well, that doesn't matter. We win! Jaden didn't even get a chance to really do anything. 574 and 8 whole experience points. No, I lost. That's right, you lost, Jaden, because you're a loser. Did I do event three? Uh, yeah, I did. That was the one with Pierre, of course. Rise and shine, get out of your bunker. Holy moly, didn't realize how late I've been going so far. Nice. Been over three and a half hours of bears, moomins, and dueling. Let me go to the store. Now let's see if we can get some sandwiches. We're moving pretty fast through Hassleberry's team. Damn it, I missed it. Have a ham sandwich? Okay, he likes the ham sandwich. Ah, nothing. You like cheese? Okay, like, it seems like Hassleberry likes a lot of stuff compared to everyone else. Pizza is cool. Tastes great. Don't see anything fancy. Carrots, he probably doesn't like those. Stretch? I can stretch like a teddy, don't worry. Ugh. Spicy fish egg sandwich. Those, those don't look like fish eggs to me. They look like sausages. There we go. Uh, does he like these? Mm, it's alright. Chaz is super picky. Let's see a card. Come on, show me the good stuff. That thing. Oh, hey, the Wicked Avatar. Nice. Don't think I can really use that. And that has... Uh... Yeah, whatever. It's Neos. I'm never playing Neos because it sucks. Plain sandwich. Let's go again. The Wicked Avatar is in this game. Apparently, I see a gold. Got it. Look at that! Four hearts with Hassleberry already. And just like that, we're halfway done playing dinos. I was having some horrible, 
sandwich luck when playing with Chaz, wasn't I? Class? Hell no, we already did it twice. Now what's this one? Okay, this one. This is the last generic event, right? The next one is when they get, like, unique. Let me get some water while I mash through this. Oh, right, these two. I haven't really felt a need to edit the deck so far. It's been working pretty well. Dino Beatdown just kind of takes care of a lot of things in this so far. Gate 4. Alright, here we go. Let's see if they can pull a big brain like they're always using, usually doing. Foolish Burial. Okay, they got rid of their, uh, Kazajin. Is he gonna try and revive it? Is that why? I don't think I've seen them do that yet. And what do they play? Arsenal Summoner. Well then. Wait, he's special. Did he special summon it and not normal summon? Or is he just normal summon Gillosaurus? Another Gate Guardian piece just went to the graveyard. And so did he. Okay, he milled two of them. And then he summoned the thing you're supposed to tribute for them. Okay, then. What do I know about this, chat? What do I know? Oh! He saw me play Gillosaurus and he was like, I'm gonna- I'm gonna make him do a funny to me. No, 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 no. No, no, I'm not- I'm not letting them have it. They got three Gate Guardian pieces in the graveyard. They ain't getting crap from me. Nuh-uh. Okay. Okay. Destroyer Saurus will be good enough out there on its own to beat over. Hydrate. Pretty smart play if they didn't, like, announce it, essentially. Getting some water, fixing my posture. We're gonna have to end soon. The Yu-Gi-Oh! streams go by so quickly, it's ridiculous. Before I know it, four hours is gone. And then I, when I finish streaming, it becomes an absolute blur chat. It's like, what did I do for four hours? Oh yeah, I played Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, talked about gummy bears again. Like that. I'm sure I did something entertaining. Lots of people were watching the whole time, so it must have been entertaining. 500. Oh, he got me there. <laughs> More talk of reality shows and jorts. Ooh, you're getting beamed. Oh, that's annoying. Um, honestly, I think I'm just gonna heavy storm. And then put down my other one. Use the mad sword beast. They're both piercers, but... Am I confident that one could pierce? We're not going to win this turn anyway, so you know what? I'll go with a safe bet. It was Cannon Soldier. Okay. Nice. 20 episodes later and still entertaining. Heck yeah. Sometimes you do a short stream. Sometimes you do a jort stream. Mm hmm. Okay, funny bunny. We set the thing. We do that. Excellent. By the time I'm done streaming, I'm probably expecting, like, another, like, piece of art in my DMs once I'm done. I'll start showing the design off more on the VODs, but so far I've just been showing it off to the server and chat a little bit. Let me see. Once things are more finalized, I'll start talking about it a lot more. Do that. Okay. I'm doing that thing where, um... I'm talking about it a lot, so I can't back out of it. <laughs> I had a coworker once who would tell everyone all the time about how he was getting a tattoo, so he couldn't back out of doing it. <laughs> and I respect that logic. Oh. Why do we always get this event right away? Holy crap, okay. Let's do it. 
we win, we get a bunch of points, so let's do it. I've read this one like a thousand times, so I'm just mashing through it. Excellent. Art for what? Yeah, the VTuber design. Fossil Hunter, Volcanic Vulcan. We're gonna get stuff. I got Ceasefire on me. The Canyon, we'll replace that. Rock Bombardment. Okay, what? whatever. Oh, darn it, I just hiccuped. Ow. I'm okay. Bear Streamer is okay. Holy moly. Do you think that'll be even more jarring? Imagine someone watching all, like, my, my popular softlock videos. Then they go to the stream, and they see all that now. We can scare even more people away. We can make a little counter. Every 100 viewers scared away, I gift a sub. Hell yes. Well, he used that to mill the deck, so... Don't want to Gilosaurus him. I could Lightning Vortex it after, but... Hmm... Hmm. I'll wait. I'll wait. Will this be enough? No, he's sending the rock monster, so... But no, this one's axles, so it could be something I could feasibly beat over. I'll go for it. Ah, it was that one. Never mind. Forgot he'd set that. That's okay. Actually, you know what? Now that the monster's flipped up, hell with it. Hell with it. Let's do it. Go on, bring it out. I'm gonna give up my whole hand for this stupid play. And now we can do this. Yes, it worked. Okay. I don't... Uh, I don't really want to use the Lightning Vortex, because I have to discard that, but he's going to flip this thing down over and over. Hmm. Tyranno can beat over them, so it should be okay. It's Golem Sentry is the one that'll knock things back, so... We're, we're relatively safe. Ceasefire can also flip them back over, too. We're about to inflict Massive Burn. I, it's okay. Here we go. Excellent. Now they set everything. That's not good. Hold on, let them flip them first. Okay, now that they're all like that, we're gonna hit them with this. Ooh, baby. Okay, it went swords. Big evolution pill. Okay, good. It actually is using it. Smart Hassleberry. Hassleberry has made some... Wow, really? You're doing that? Okay. Hassleberry has made some weird moves, but so far, he's a million times better than Chaz. But to be perfectly fair, that is not a very high bar to... high bar to meet. Uh-oh. Dust Tornado just negated me. Well, then. Can't do anything. The swords. Premature burial. 800. You can partner with Chaz's brothers, but there's no story to them. Oh, right. Gonna hit yes for this. Only the tier 1 characters have that option to do so. And on Hyper Hammerhead... gets flipped down, so it cancels the premature burial. That's cool. What are you doing? Dude, don't give a morphing jar back. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. What are they gonna do? They're flipping them. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic, Hassleberry. No, that's not really his fault. Morphin Jar isn't in effect here. Don't flip it up and send it back. Uh-oh. 
Oh no. Oh no, they're all in his <laughs> they're all in his hands. No. Hang on, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna summon this and I'm gonna set this. So Hasselberry has the he has the hand to discard for this, I don't care. And I'm gonna attack the morphing jar, assuming he doesn't flip anything up. And hopefully replenish my hand with that. Please. Please. You piece of garbage. Just let me have that. Well, I think we lost. I should have stayed on board, but oh well. Oh, if only I could put those on the, f on the field. Well now. Oh no, chat. That's just enough to kill. That's just enough. Man, that's unfortunate. Well, time to try again. Looks like I'm getting close to the four hour mark, so this will probably be the last duel, and then I'll call the night. I'll be back again on Wednesday, and uh, was I doing Earthbound Wednesday? I think I was. I can't remember now. Quick, someone look at this schedule in the Discord server. Remind me what my plans were. Or did I set uh, Blaze Black for Wednesday? I think I did, because I wanted to do a long stream and maybe do Pikmin after. Okay, Jurassic World. Yay. Here comes Canyon. MST that sucker there. That's right. MST negates. Throw this one down. Hmm. Only one face down, so you know what I could do? I could go for the Hydro Get On, but to. Uh, Jim has a lot of defensive monsters. It's probably best I get the Triceratops on instead, so I'll do this. Do that. Do that. You got Stealth Bird from Plain Sandwich. That's good. It's helpful. Don't mirror force me. Or else. Okay, good. I beat over him. Made him cry. Hang on a second. Let me look. Okay. Wednesday was Blaze Black. That is right. I have Earthbound set for Thursday. That's the only game I'm going to play that. Yeah, that day. Perfect. I was going to do a couple longer streams this week if I can. I'll see how I feel after playing some of more Pokemon, and if I have time, I'll do another episode of Pikmin. Because I haven't had time to play that for a little bit. Good job. He's going for Fossil Fusion. Ew. Look at that creepy thing. Hang on, what's this defense? 800. Bro, why'd you put in defense mode? Oh, because I have ultimate Tyranno. That'd be why. That would absolutely be why. So we'll put this down. Hmm. And in his graveyard, he has just volcanic shell. I don't really need to card destruction or anything. This should be okay. Ah. Ah. His defense tactics don't work anymore against me. We're about to win. Next turn, anyway. You're up, Hassleberry. Blaze Accelerator. Ooh, that's annoying. Volcanic Shell. Is he gonna keep doing that? Fantastic. He's gonna have no light. Go, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Attack me. Go ahead. Go on. Come on. Come on, bro. He's not gonna attack. Of course he's not. <laughs> Just attack me so I can flip my cylinder, you jerks. He's playing a fossil. 
Yeah! Get beamed! Heck yeah. That. Alrighty, 684. Bad. Heck yeah, we win. And it gives us a crap ton of duel points right there. Okay, we can go over the Sliper Dorm. Just like that, we're ending on 40k. And next time we go to sleep, Hassleberry will let me edit his deck. We made good progress today, I'd say. This went much smoother than when I started playing with Chaz, because not only does his AI make a crap ton of annoying mistakes, but I feel like I almost never got the gold sandwich with him. And when I did, I messed it up, sadly. There we go. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna go get myself some dinner, and I'll be off tomorrow, because I'm going to the dentist. But, I'll see you guys in a couple days, and I'll do some more Pokemon and stuff. Anyways, if you're watching on YouTube, this is where the recording ends. Hope you've been enjoying the Yu-Gi-Oh! streams. They've still been a fun time for me. Have a good night, and bye-bye.